All right. Episode 71. Episode 71 on the Gemini Scorpio And I just showed up with my girls. <laughs> Hi, Layla. Layla just made an appearance. You know, we just got a new dog, y'all. The Gemini Scorpio <laughs> and dog. And so cute. She's Layla so Dior. beautiful. What's up, ladies? What's How y'all up? I'm amazing. Oh. How Especially how after that shot by the lovely Lex. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Lex, you know. Lex got us right. You know. Yeah. The, the, it's like nice. Lex come with the Lex juice. And okay. it's just. Okay. And it come with the Lex and juice. And it's feeling good. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know. She's oh, in okay. unison. Oh. She's it, in sync. First okay. of all, can we say something about the fact that we're all in nude? Yo. Oh, yes. It yes. was giving nude. But okay. Because you said in sync and then that made me think. I, I like the word. I like the word "align" better yes, than but "sing." I do. Thank like, you so much. We are in alignment we're, because we, we are all walk in here. It's in the melanin for me. Yeah, nude, it's a beautiful brown. black woman for me. For me, yes. yes. I love that for <laughs> beautiful. I love that for beautiful all women. Us. Yes, yes. Shout out to Lux like, for these beautiful. Yes, yes. Like, yes these thank is, you. These, and they taste amazing. Cute. It's, this is giving me. I am on the island of Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this okay? sex on the beach? It's giving me. I mean, we could. Oh, this is good. Is it Jamaican me happy? Ooh. Okay. It's giving. It okay. is good. Wow. This is that given is very much, Island. Ladies, I'm Ooh, so this is happy beautiful y'all life. are here. Hey. I'm so happy y'all are here. Yeah, I'm happy I'm here. Episode 71. <laughs> okay. I just want to go back around the room because, you know, we have a special guest, but we have some returning ones. Too. Yes. <laughs> so first, you already know. This is Paris. Paris, Tokyo. Last time I didn't say that. Uh, I did not say that, but Paris to Tokyo. You better tell them that. Period. <laughs> period. Um, I do not have my passion twist in this time. They yes. just looking a little ragged. So we got the natural going on. Yes. And it's gorgeous. Okay, the natural. Yes. The girls pop okay. severely. Thank you. <laughs> Note to self, stop using your flat iron. I'm diamond. <laughs> I'm Diamond LaShawn, you all. I be popping my shit here, there, everywhere. You probably heard me pop it before. Okay. Find me on the gram. It's the Diamond LaShawn. And yeah, let's get it. Mm -hmm. That's your guest. Ooh, my good girlfriend. Yes. And I'm so happy and she's fellow here. And fellow organite. Okay. Yes. yes. Come in. Come in. You know, period. Well, give us, yes. Introduce yourself. <laughs> mm-hmm. you I mean, what kind of introduction are we giving? Right Whatever before? you want. What, what you feeling? I'm give right. me what you feeling. Because I wanted you into this New York <laughs> accent because I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's what I'm saying. Give me whatever you got. Period. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, BG. BG with the T. You can find me on social media at BQ Garrett underscore. I'm your favorite plus size influencer. Hailing from New York City. City, but you know I'm here in Baltimore checking it out, living good, living great. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy to You're be looking here. great. Yes, yes. looking. You're looking great. <laughs> it's even mixtape. Yeah. 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 You already know who I it is. Like I was in the studio real quick. Like, yeah. 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 It was giving mixtape. Yes. I love yes. that. It was the vibe. Yes. It was. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> it was a good introduction. Okay, last episode, episode 70 was giving. Y'all was cutting up. Cutting up. So I'm, I'm ready to be no, here to cut with y'all, up. okay? Come on. <laughs> we, we cut, cut the ass off. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, it uh, was fun. It was One thing fun. about it, this ain't wine, baby, so I feel a little heavier. Oh, already. okay. Oh, we didn't take that shot. It's that and that that shot. Listen. <laughs> Shout out to Lex in the City, our bartender. Yes. Uh, she just get, to go around, getting us right. Getting us right. We got Lante, bass god in the building on the cameras. You already know. It's the vibes. Uh, Jay mm-hmm. Hill, you already know he came here and set us up right. We got <laughs> Nisi in the building, Nisa yes. Ray. We got my good girlfriend, Oz, <laughs> by Oz Aesthetics up in here. Okay. So you already know. <laughs> I appreciate the ladies for pulling up. Um, before we get started, I just, I, you know, I just want to check in with everybody. How was everybody's week? How was everybody's week? I got week? the job. Yeah! Yes. 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 I've been unemployed for a year just because it's a pandemic. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'm super excited. I get yeah, to stay so home long. all day yeah. with my baby. Yeah. And I'll be on the phone. And so I'm psyched. That's amazing. Nice. Congratulations, sis. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. So excited. I'm happy. Okay. Yeah. You got to get back to the bag. Okay. I'm, yeah. so, I'm so happy <laughs> for you. Yes. I'm yes. so happy yes. for you. Thank yes. you, my love. Yes. I, I, I needed that. It was yeah. right on time. Yeah. Right on time. Yeah. Right on time. Get that going. Get every little bit. Somebody got to be called alignment. Period. Okay. We are aligned. Period. I mean, my week was cool. Um, I'm still halfway. Hey, cool. I'm still halfway healing from lipo. I was just telling them, y'all, honestly, look, look at me, the camera. Listen, it is not a joke. Honestly, let's not even talk about that because honestly, I just feel botched. Never mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> not botched. No. no, my week was cool. I actually am now officially <laughs> affiliated with a brokerage. I am officially oh my a real God. estate agent. Congratulations! Congratulations. Okay. Hey, it's thanks. That. 
So I'll be putting out more information about that on Come my on. Instagram. I love mm-hmm. it. Talking about little bit of things. I love whatever. that for you. But honestly, I feel blessed. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. I love blessed. that. I feel you blessed. Do. I feel yeah. blessed and I feel present. And I'm yes. like, okay. And that's, that's very good. good. Present. It's present. It's very yes. Present. Yes. Yeah. Like people don't even Because I've been it. I've been feeling a, a r- real out of body experience <laughs> mm-hmm. lately. Mm-hmm. But yeah. right now I feel present. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Shout out to being present. Shout out to being here, president. Who's all here? President. <laughs> that's how I feel. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, my week has been a little hectic. Okay. But you know, much like Diamond said, I'm I'm just feeling really blessed. And yeah. I, lately yeah. I've been feeling like very powerful, very passionate. Because you are. Um good. just you know, there's a lot of things shifting, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm not really religious, but I believe that like, you know, when things get crazy in your world, it means like oh, something no, no, no. happening, oh, right? Yeah. You know, the elevation. Listen, yeah. 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 yeah, no, seriously, seriously. So everything a lot of things have been chaotic in life for me. Yeah. But I'm just in this space where I'm like, you know, right. God, what, I don't time. know what you got going on. But, I know yeah. what's but I'm trusting it's you. It's coming. Yeah. Yes. And so many good things have been aligning it. So so I'm you know, you said alignment. So I'm I'm starting to feel real. In align with some yeah. of the things yes. that I've been asking God for. Yeah. Yes. I love that. Yeah. You know, it's so crazy. Um, you know, I heard a message today. Uh, shout out to my pastor, Pastor Keith Battle. Yes. He yes. said, Keith Battle. That's it. my guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, he, the sentence I really like is, there's a map in your mess. Oh, mm. always. There's a map. That goes deep. Yeah. I'm going to preach. I mean, because we could go there. We could go wherever. And no lie was sold. Yes. Ate it up with no crumbs left. There is a map in your Okay. There's a map in your mess. Can I jump on you real quick? Come on, talk to me. So, it's so odd. There was a show that came out a long time ago called Lost. Mm. Right? Okay. I I didn't watch the whole thing, but I did see partial of it, but I didn't find it. So, I never watched it. My husband was like, we need to watch Lost. He an African, y'all. So, he was like, when I was in Africa, I found a DVD of this show. And it was so good. <laughs> so I was like, "What show?" He was like, "It's called Lost." And I was like, that. "What?" So now we done found the shit on Hulu, of course. Yes. Oh and he got me watching it, right? And it goes to say, there's a map in the mess because there's a guy on there that he keep uncovering shit, and it looked like it's dangerous. It goes against what mentally is safe for mm-hmm. the rest of the survivors mm-hmm. from the car crash, mm-hmm. right? I mean, from the airplane airplane crash. But wait a minute, you see yeah, how I got that? You gotta be but the <laughs> thing <laughs> is, is that he kept saying, There's a reason we're here. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. a reason we're here because the man was crippled before yeah. the plane crashed. After the plane crashed, he didn't need the wheelchair. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. So while everybody's scared and obviously inconvenienced, the fucking plane crashed. Yeah. Right? Right, right. Right. They on a fucking island. They yeah. eat fucking coconuts, and papayas, and star fruit. And shit, right. Right. <laughs> right. It's kind of like it's different. cool, but this wasn't exactly. And after what some we had was on. Yeah. Exactly. Right. It wasn't exactly right. Panera bread. At this right. Point, right. <laughs> everybody's upset, but. There is a method to the madness. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Always. 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 Because some other people weren't supposed to meet yeah. savory fate. Mm. And instead, they ended up on an island. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. No, yeah. I love that. I love that. You are not to go lost. back and watch that show. It, it's it's, it's, minute, it's so. divinely planned. Yeah. Out. Absolutely. Mm. Abs- ab- yeah. Absolutely. There's sure. always, you know, the testimony, the test, you know, it's always yeah. triumph. Yeah. 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 We don't like it. We can't yeah. see out when we end, but yeah. when we be out, we be Absolutely. like, oh. But you know what? That really goes into uh, faith like real and real, and real talk that really leads into yeah, faith like, yeah. like just understanding that like everything always works out it always works yeah, but absolutely. you have to trust it right because yeah. sometimes we get so caught up yeah. in anxiety wrongs, different types of emotions mm-hmm. what's not gonna work the doubt will work but you know what that yes. is that's you, control yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. and we have no control when you like, give up control yes. it's kind of like mm-hmm. yeah yeah I'm a, well, I'll be here. Yeah. yeah. Listen. It's called mm-hmm. letting God's will be done. Because what's going to happen is going to happen. happen perfect regardless. girl like okay. her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it so, out. <laughs> my week, I had, I had an easy week. Okay. okay. I love that for you. And that's I that's really okay. like that. Yeah, that's a good week. I had yeah. a very easy mm-hmm, week. Mm-hmm. And I liked it because I just felt like so many times, you know, we're trying to do so many things and there's some tug and there's some pull and mm-hmm. there's some redirection and you got to reroute you got to stop now it's another detour now I got to start <laughs> over now it's and situation. I just felt mm-hmm. like I had to show some gratitude for how smooth mm-hmm. my week went okay yes. there was no yes. hiccups there was no bumps you know I got done anything I needed to do it was yes. very productive yes. I got That's to you. work oh and just really just be at ease nothing yeah. kind of flipped upside down this week nothing was on fire this week and I had I to be grateful that for, for that because yes. there's so many times 
we are going through so much turmoil yeah. whether there's mm -hmm. a map in that mess it's still a lot sometimes yeah, yeah. so I just really enjoyed the easiness yeah. of the week yeah. like good. I love that that's good I, yeah. love you, it. I see that, that I see that as a transition into the best of you okay yeah. because you yeah. know when yeah. it always be like a storm and oh, then the calm, calm yeah and then and we need the that boom yes. yep mm -hmm. and i'm excited for you to see what exactly what that is I, what the I, boom I, is i, I even and what you did with this calm my goodness you yeah. know what i'm saying because we have map, we have a map in our mess but we have a map in, in the goodness, goodness. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Oh, you know? all of it is for sure. always it's a design there. for everything yeah exactly. for sure for sure for sure you know I'm about to choose violence. Like I'm about to say, it's about to get because I love, like I love the kumbaya moment, and I was just like, you know, I just really love the transition. You know what I'm saying? The price on our shoulder was like turn that shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a Scorpio, so by default, I got a good advantage. Yeah, here it is. Okay, but the little devil's like, bitch. I live for Scorpio. Listen, Scorpio women are something. They are. We are a piece I, I, of work. I love a few good Scorpio yeah. women. I do, we are, I we are a piece of work, but we mean very well. You, you guys yes, do. We yes, mean very yes. well. Very loyal women, though. Very yes. loyal to yes. the soil. Yes, I, I will say yeah. that. I will say that. Since we're... You don't know me, Lady of it. Because I was in the back like live. They're like, because you've been yeah. here two months. Let's talk <laughs> All about two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so, speaking of that, you know, you know, us sitting down and really being able to you know, just reflect and talk yeah. and really jump in. Yeah. Um, Brittany, you came. You don't really know Paris, but before I even came in, you guys were already open. Oh, yeah, You said definitely. the same thing the last time, the first time yep. we all came in together. Yep. We were just like, it was vibing. Yeah, and, um, definitely. I think I kind of wanted to talk about the importance of sisterhood. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And womanhood. Yeah. Mm. Because, you know, like, ideally, I want to act like, you know, it's always bliss and rainbows and beautiful, but it's really definitely not. not. And I've had my challenges. <gasps> yeah. With friendships, and yeah. just as much as I've had very great friendships, yeah. but it's been a tug and a pull, like yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And I think people don't like to talk about how much friendships can break your heart, just Woo! like a relationship. Uh, yes. yeah. A friendship heartbreak is probably one of the worst things that you can ever experience. Like Real. I know that when we break worst up with yeah, men's heart, our um, man heartbreak, yeah. or whoever, woman. like you know, whatever your relationship status is with with a, with a spouse, a significant other, right. yeah. like those hurt. It hurts. But like to lose a friendship, right. like, and regardless more. of what, how long the time is, right? It because a lot matter. of people measure friendship based on years but really I feel like friendship is no. based in like yep. the quality of what yep. that Absolutely. friendship looks like yes. right yes. and true. to yep. lose somebody that you felt like y'all yes, were here y'all were dog. connected like it's grief. It's like grief. It's yeah. like oh, it, it, it hurts. It hurts. It is. It is. Yeah. Grief. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's crazy. This year alone, like it's only half of twenty twenty one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I had a Child. wild ass first half of twenty twenty one. But you know, it's the last six months. We are gonna end it out with a bang. Okay. Okay. Period. 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 okay. But what I will say is the first half. Um, I experienced a lot of things in my sisterhood, mm -hmm. oh, and that's I. That's very interesting. Um, it left me like so. You know, I'm a person because I've been through a lot through life in general. Yeah. Um, so I am a person who I kind of take things on the chin a lot because it's like, I know life, I've seen right. worse. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? So like when things do come my way, sometimes I tend to just like, ah, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. However, I had to have a reflecting moment um, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, of how some of the relationships and the friendships that I departed from mm -hmm. really hurt me. Mm -hmm. You know, it hurt me in a way where I didn't acknowledge it at first. Right. Um, but as I watched how I was moving mm -hmm. with other people and the guards I was putting up mm -hmm. and the way I was kind of just like, a little cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like I kind of was like, you know, so like it, prior to these relations, I was open to building a lot of relationships yeah. because mm -hmm. at my big grown age now, like I want to be around more women like me. Mm -hmm. I want to uh -huh. be around yeah. women who right. are doing things I'm doing. And I want to just create these bonds and not feel like no new friends, but I want more friends that I'm aligned with. Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. Um, but when the friendships that I had, I felt like, broke my heart, I kind of closed off to that. Yeah. Because I felt like, I don't really want to go through that anymore. Right, yeah. right. Like, I, 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 I want to feel I, that again. It like, hurts. Right? I don't, and I it don't does. have time to build these bonds for, you know, things to happen and they end so badly yeah. or somebody's telling your business or Child. somebody's... Yeah. Um, making you a ma villain in this yeah. story. Mm -hmm. story. And respectfully or... Even if it walked away a little gracefully, just for the ill feelings of somebody who shared so much history. Yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my question I had, what is friendship like amongst women? Like, what does that look like? You know, and we could go around the room just like, 
what is that like what if you had to like embark on something super important about friendship mm-hmm. what do you need out of a friendship right now like what is that mm. look, what does that look like to oh you? Ooh, so, okay that, that, question, right? <laughs> that is I mean, that's it's definitely a heavy question because, you know, not all women are the same point blank period. Yeah. Right. And they're Very not going to give you everything that you I don't even want to say need because you don't want to put too much pressure on a friend or a relationship or what, whatever the right, case may right. be. Um, what it looks like to me. Or what does I would it say, mean to you? I would yet. say just support one. Obviously, mm, everybody okay. needs support. Obviously, right. um, but you don't want to put too much trauma on a person that is, you know, supporting you. Mm-hmm. Um, because in that retrospect, you know, you putting all your trauma on somebody else, it carries over in their life, mm-hmm. and yeah. and they might not even know it, but it does. It yeah. does absolutely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all gonna have to come back to me because it is. It's a hard question. Yeah. Like, what do you it, really it look for in a friendship? Yeah. So this is what I'll say. I've been through a lot of different, like, not phases, but a lot of different chapters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, come on, chapters. In said, <laughs> in said life. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, And what I will say is that friendship is loyalty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And when mm-hmm. I say loyalty, I'm, I'm, I'm very aware of the fact that loyalty must be to self first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. So you have to like be loyal to self in order to be able to extend loyalty right. to anyone right. else, right? right? Else, like yeah. I'm not asking you to give me anything you don't know how to give yourself because yeah. that would be somewhat no. Yeah. demented, no, no, right? No, I'm retarded. Right. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's more of a thing where I'm like, okay, loyalty is... If I share, you don't share with anybody else. Okay. Yeah. Yes. If I need you, you're there to the best of your ability. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm not okay. asking you to desert your your husband and kids to be yeah. at my birthday party. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Right. And let's we could chat about something like that too. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you know, I feel like loyalty is I'm your friend, and honestly, I will I will honestly even take the step to say that. When you embark on a friendship with somebody, mm-hmm. not an associateship, obviously, if you're associated with somebody, it's kind of like here, there, everywhere, yeah. whatever. But if you embark on a friendship, that is a relationship of a sort. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people think that they only owe explanation, conversation, communication to a relationship. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. But if you embark yeah. on something, even if it is platonic, yeah. you gave this person the uh, implication that you were going to be someone who would communicate. And there's a commitment yeah. here yeah. too. Yeah. There's, there's a, a commitment. There's a commitment, there's a commitment in front And you Absolutely. can't jump ship in commitments because you don't like the way something made you feel. Yeah. yeah. Because that man you fucking you're going to keep communicating going to irritate you it. a bunch of times and yeah. that's going to be and unchanged. And you still yeah. going to communicate with him. Yeah. That, that second question too yeah. over there. That, that you, you, you yeah. like, oh, there. <laughs> like I told you I, I, I be choosing violence sometimes. Yeah. So I want to say friendship to me is the same loyalty you would extend to a man Ooh. who don't even give that much of a fuck about you. Okay. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. I, like, I, like, I like that you I like said that. that. I, I, really, I, I really, love that. I really love that you say that. Yeah, that you say it's that hard, it's, but it's a fact. But yeah, it's, it's, a fact. Something, it's something that's needed. Um, For me, like everything, you know, I echo what both of you have said um, about friendships. Um, I think a part of friendship is also account. A friendship is about accountability. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. Because oftentimes, you know, we have... The yes man, right? Yes. Like you, mm-hmm. you talk about the yes man and having people in our circles who are yeah. okay with certain things that you do. Yeah. And it's like certain behavior is absolutely not okay. Yes. Which is why not, period. a lot of times people are like, well, birds of a feather, that's bullshit. And it's like, no, 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 no. If you really sit down and understand yeah. what birds of a feather flock together really means, yes. is that you are in a group with somebody, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that ain't friend, checking a bad behavior, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and eventually these people start to do certain things and it's like, by just automatically other people are going to start associating you with the behavior of those people yeah. and it's like so what do you have in common if you're this person's friend if you're saying birds of a feather don't flock together it's not a real thing what do you guys have in common yeah right. you understand yeah, what I'm right. saying? It's, a, it's a lesson that i taught one of my, stu- my students you know what i'm saying i'm like if you have a friend right who's a liar mm-hmm. and steals from everybody else right actually they going to associate with you with that is, yeah is mm-hmm. that is that is the friend not going to come and do it to you yeah do you think mm. that you're above mm-hmm. in a certain level of this well, some people mm. some people do think that they are entitled in a way where it will not happen to
Oh, yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, Ooh, they, they need their yeah. demise a little quicker than other people, whether that be an emotional demise, a mental demise, mm. a physical I've, I've demise. Been, I've been in that position quite a few times. See, I think, uh, you know, uh, just holding myself accountable, a lot of times, um, and this is something I was going to come in circle on a while mm-hmm. uh, after you guys spoke about that, is, you know, I think we need to hold ourselves more accountable in how we pick our friends. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. The reason why I said that is because I spent a lot of time like so like I am one of those people. If you do something for me, it goes a long way with. Yeah. Me. yeah. Mm-hmm. Even mm-hmm. if it's the smallest thing. And Absolutely. I had to get out of the habit of owing people some form, some for, form of life bond because yeah. you did something, to you know, for me. Yeah. And it's something I teach people now because it's something as I learned along the way is. God sends people to give you certain blessings. Yes. Yeah. It does not mean they have to stay in every season of your Absolutely. life. Okay. So what yeah, I was funny. doing is I was taking people who like God sent to bless me in another area, maybe of my life, you know, whatever was mm-hmm. needed, whether it was a, a shoulder mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or something. And uh, again, as we said, like Scorpios are big on loyalty. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you do something for me, baby, we I, I got you under here like a headlock. Okay? Mm-hmm. You locked in with me. <laughs> but yeah. then they burn but you. They burn you. Yeah. Because what it is, is we overlook those things that they do to other people, people. like you said, yep. like these repetitive cycles or these red flags or nah, but that's my bitch though. Like she wouldn't do that to me because exactly. I know, but like, nah, people, I don't look at that. You know what? Yeah. Like, I don't do that. Something. Yeah. Not only do the, do we overlook the stuff that they do to other people, but how about we overlook the shit that they do to themselves? Woo! Woo! Yeah. That that's was it. That's, that's yes. it. That's it. Right because there. if you think about it, if you make yes. a friend that every time you talk to her, she's obsessing about some man she was Ooh. never in a relationship Ooh. with. Yeah. She's stalking him. Ooh. She in somebody else's business. Ooh, I'm she's just chatting about something. She's she's like, baby, she always in a negative situation. I know why, do you think, why do you think that when you're going through something with your man, mm-hmm. she's not going to be the first one on your phone right. to tell you such and such and really? wish you exactly. heard and wish yeah. and yada exactly. yada? She does it to herself. Yeah. She likes that. She abuses herself. She will abuse Which you. is why mm-hmm. that whole statement, treat people how you want to be treated, is it's a no. It's bullshit. It's, yeah. a no. it's bullshit because That's, it's one of the biggest lies yeah. that people have ever told us because the reality is a lot of motherfuckers don't know how they want to be treated. Right. They don't. They right. can't tell right. you how they right. want to be treated. Right. Yeah. But they can't that, describe they like what they treat, treat, treat people yeah. how yeah. they treat themselves. themselves. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then you're like, you're wondering what, what, the, what the fuck is really going on is yeah. because they don't know what they want from themselves. They don't even know how to show up for themselves. But people are expecting all this shit about oh I need you to show up and it's just like pay like you said pay like attention to your friends they can't even show up read for themselves, themselves. Yeah. Yeah. how are they gonna show, show up for, for you yeah. it's giving yeah. read the, the room, room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes no that's and, that's, and that's it's crazy real. because you know again like holding myself accountable because I was like I broke my own heart so many times mm. yeah. we all absolutely like I broke my own heart because it's like you know you knew better mm-hmm. You, you shouldn't have did this but everything happens for a reason in the season and you gotta think about it that way like you talked about people letting go like right the other yeah. day i had a message on on my instagram where i talk about it's a it's, it's a there's a time to let go right yeah and that's not just with like tangible things yeah but that's what people, people places yes. and things. Yeah, absolutely and, and although we say you know we've broken our heart many a times with people but there was a reason that we needed to so learn this lesson we needed with to those learn. people yeah. whatever that lesson was no how, we no don't matter get how long it took and how yeah. long it yeah. took and sometimes we don't get the lesson immediately the first time yeah. right yeah. but we eventually my heart had an ass never done yeah. 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 like, oh yeah yeah well go on and give me a motherfucking pillow because I got a rock for my motherfucking head, because I just be here like, again, give me another one. One more time. One more time. Another one. Another one. I'm learning from that, though, because like you said, I try to give myself a lot of grace because like I was being hard on mm-hmm. myself sometimes. Like, but bitch, you know better. No, forget- I look at myself like, listen, you forgive yourself I mean, for loving people. But exactly. And also, I read something the other day, too, that really stuck with me. It kind of just was like, you know, obviously I'm a meme reader. I know they yeah. like, you always seen <laughs> a meme. But it's not, it's, not, it's not one of them memes, but it was like one of them. Uh, motivational memes. Yes. Um, and it was just like, you know, a lot of times people say you go through these things and it's like, when do you get the lesson? But like part of me for seeing the good in people, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's the magic in me, not in them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I had to see what myself sometimes, like even as a person, we always just try to find the good because that's what, ideally what we want from mm-hmm. people. Yeah, right. And I think I was doing that so much because I wanted people to always see the good in me. Like mm-hmm. no matter what somebody tells you, nobody, no yeah. matter what you think you know, Pay attention to me. Yeah. And you'll see that. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So right, I always yeah. try to do that for people because right. it's like, I know how the world can be very cruel. Yes, very yes. judgmental. I will be cruel to you. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, so it's like, I won't do that. And here I come with my heroic wings. Like, and you know what's so crazy? Because you want to be Captain Sable. Yeah. You want to be Captain Sable. <laughs> yes. no, but you know what's you crazy? Can. What's yeah. the, the super crazy part is that while we're here trying to save the society at large, mm-hmm. yeah. they is the people. Okay, yeah. baby, what? And people don't want to say, this, this is the they, thing. They don't want to be Right, in my, in, my, in my my field, right, and what I in the, in the work that I've done, case management, you know, yeah. working with students and being in a certain space and even working with adults, you have to realize that some people don't know how to, they don't want to save themselves. Mm-hmm. So no matter, like you have mm. to like, and, and this is from the perspective of like working in the human services field is that no matter what the fuck I do or the resources I give these people, right. things you just if can't. it does not hit for them, it if they not. do not feel not the need to change even They're with all the resources, I can't take that person yeah. who feel like I failed them because I know that every morning that I get up, I say, you know, God, use me for the purpose that you need to use me for. And if they take it, they take it. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to take their shit and make it personal. It's not about me. It's about what they see for themselves. And that's the same with friendship. Some people just don't know how to do the shit for themselves. And you know what? Don't even say I'm, yeah. I'm sorry for being loving to people. You know what? Because that's, that's that's your spirit. Exactly. That's your spirit. And right. whether they and whether people realize it now, years from now, or whatever, yeah. right. people go back and they remember the shit oh, that other people. Yeah. Have. Absolutely. People absolutely. 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 All the time. Especially when people have their okay. full circle moments <laughs> when they come up out of their yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People just be janky. Yeah. yeah. People got character flaws. I have a <laughs> question. Ready. I have yeah. a question. I, uh, so I have a two part question. I'm I'm gonna go to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, get yeah, that drink. <laughs> so, like I always say, if you can't get it out, take a sip. Okay. Every time I did that, and I took that from Diamond, Period. and I heard you say, because every time I can't get it out, I'm like, let me Period. just sip this real quick. Maybe I'm parched. Not, okay. not over there looking like she worked a full-time job, look, okay? Look. <laughs> okay, she's at the Foil. spa. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Spoiled Spoiled dog. Right. Spoiled dog is, can you she imagine how my over, son is if I'm over here spoiling the story? She came in and took over my house, okay. took over my daughter, took over my man, took over my bed, That's took over my well. couch, took over everything. <laughs> and so, so it's so so to be taken Bitch, over. I, spent I swear. On this dog. I was like, how dare you buy this dog a coat? <laughs> <laughs> but I have a two part question. Okay. okay. So we're going to go around and, I, you know, um, maybe we just should go a the big, other way. Big, uh, no, no, right here. we can start the other way. Give, okay, it, give, give Paris a little break. <laughs> we'll start the other way. Okay, so the first question is, one, what, what friend are you? You know, everybody kind of has the, you're like, okay, I'm the nurturing friend. I'm the prayer friend. I'm mm. the loyalty friend. What, what do you bring to the friendship table? Mm. Mm. And then the second question I want to ask is, what do you think you can do better as a friend to be better to your friend? Mm, I love that. Oh, I love Ooh. that question. I love that question. Um, I do believe I'm, I, I think I'm a mix of a bunch of different friends, right? I am the, if you need me, I'm going to show up if I can show up. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I am the, you know what, you need a prayer, I'm going to send you a prayer. Mm-hmm. I am the, the, the motivating, the inspiring friend. Um, I am the bitch. What you need? What we right. what we gonna do? We about to. Do it, this church, is what we gotta do. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm the like. Let's get up. Let's go party, friend. Let's do that. Yeah, I am. You I am the loyal friend. Like, like, what, 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 what you need from right. me? Right. That's the type that. of friend that I am. I think I, I'm, I'm a little bit uh in everything, right? And right. I think yeah. that my friends, you know, when they see this or in general, you know, they they'll say like, you know, Brittany is a good friend. She, you know, she's there when you need her. You know, sometimes she's caught up in her own shit. Yeah. Let's, let's be honest. We all have our own yeah. shit going yeah. on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And sometimes sure. I really be having my own shit going on. Yeah. That sometimes I could, you know, come back yeah. and, and be a little selfish. But I love the question of what what can you do to be a better friend? And I think the one thing that I can do to be a better friend is be a better active listener. Mm. Um, Quick to listen and very slow to react because sometimes, and this is just a defense mechanism yeah. of mine. It's like, you say one wrong thing and I'm just like, what the fuck you mean by that? Like, yeah. what's, yeah. What's, yeah. what's that? Yeah. Like, what you what you mm-hmm. going on? Right. And it's crazy. Like, where that you, you going with Yeah, this? exactly. <laughs> and one of my best friends from college, I mean, we, we're about to make like 14 years in friendship, right? Yeah. She had stopped me one day. We got into a back and forth because sometimes we just miscommunicate yeah, yeah. via text message, mm-hmm. right? And so we got into it and she, you know, she's like, sometimes you just don't listen. And like you take really quick offense to something. And and instead of me like getting crazy in that moment, I had to I had to sit with that. Reflect because it wasn't the first time I heard it. And I'm yeah. just like, you know what? You're right. right. I can yeah. stop being yeah. so defensive. Mm-hmm. But because of childhood trauma, yeah. my first line of defense is I'm gonna defend me. You yeah. say some wild shit to me, what you I, mean? You need to know what yeah. I'm yeah. 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 And I yeah. have to realize like a part of being yeah. a good friend is knowing that not everybody has malicious intent. Yeah. And yeah. obviously my this motherfucking girl been around. Since pre college, right? So she doesn't. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, she's never done any grimy shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's a group of us never done no grimy shit and never did no weird shit yeah. behind my back. And like the way we are in our friendship is crazy because it's like, yo, we say to you like, how how can I be there for you? Right. Like, right. How can I show up for you? And I learned that shit in 2020 
when I, you know, lost a group of friends that I was, I was close with and I was angry with them for a very long time. And I was angry with them because I'm like, yo, I needed y'all the most. I lost mm, my grandmother during yeah, the pandemic. Yeah. I lost my mother pre-pandemic. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yo, yeah. yo, what the fuck? I need yeah. y'all to be there. But yes. then I had to sit back and scale back and say, Brittany, how have you shown up for, for them, them. In, mm. in the past for them? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How, how, how were you to them? And it made me that's, that's realize deep. how the fuck do I show up as a better friend for my friends? How do I ask the yeah. questions? Because sometimes some people don't always they don't know, it's hard. They don't know how to ask they don't because you do. don't, you, they don't know what they need. And that's how I felt. As or I don't know what the fuck I need right now. Or that communication line has not been established yet. Uh-huh. So yeah. who, break, who breaks that communication line? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, like, and, 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 that's and sometimes it has to be you. It's about yep. swallowing ego. Yep. It's about swallowing that pride and saying, you know what? If this person means something to me, yeah. especially if it's not no weird shit, right? Yeah, real shit, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just way, yeah. We fall weird. out about that's bullshit. Yeah. We fall out over bullshit. Yeah. Over you bullshit. Yeah. Oh, I got it for it. Yeah, definitely. Weird vibe. Wait, didn't dumb dumb read the shit, wrong right? right. Bad day. <laughs> we fall out on my period. Like, you got on my nerves. Yep, like, yep. Like, yep. I hit what you say? Like, fuck her. You ain't calling me. I'm not calling you. You don't talk to me. And it be dumb shit like that. And it's, yeah. it's a difference when it's somebody that you care about. And if somebody that you care about is important to you, you try to yeah. operate in a way. Not, and it's not about kissing fucking ass, right? Yeah. It's not no. about being it's up their ass. But if they reciprocate a certain energy to you, then it's up to you to reciprocate yeah. that. Yeah. It's yeah. only right. Yeah. Yeah. Shit is about yeah. re- reciprocity, yeah. Yeah. okay? Ooh, that shit is about giving about fucking it. take, right? Yeah. And not holding on to shit. So right. for me, I know that I can be a much better listener to my friends. I can be a very much better active listener, not, not responding sometimes. And sometimes I'll be ready to go, I, 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 and I'll be like, Oh, let me be quiet. Let me, let me be so quiet. I, I think that that's definitely one thing that I know that I need to work mm-hmm. on, and I'm grateful for mm-hmm. the friendships that I do have. Who are like, bitch, we just know Brittany, you crazy yeah, 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 shit. Yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, you just, yeah, yeah. You just be you all know, over you know, the place. Those yeah. friends are important. Yeah, yeah. those Absolutely. friends are important. Yeah, Absolutely. they give a lot of grace and they give yeah. a lot of patience. For sure. Into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. What about you, D? Like, what, mm, what? okay, so for me, I feel like I'm that friend that's pretty much I'm with whatever y'all with. Like, yeah. I'm that friend you can call me when you yeah. need something to mm-hmm. talk talk about. We could talk about that. You know, I'm I got a little word for you. I'm gonna listen. I'm yeah. gonna be there. Let's yeah. put it into perspective. I'm definitely the party friend. Well, I used to be like a lot before I had my baby, <laughs> but definitely we can go out. And if I'm not there, I can tell you what promoter to hit that's gonna let you okay. in. Baby. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely One way or another, I got you covered. Right. <laughs> I, I'm I'm really the all purpose friend though. Yeah. Seriously, like we could go to a cookout, a block party, uh art museum, we can mm-hmm. go travel, we can go to the library, we could talk about deep bizarre secrets. Yeah. I'm, yeah. It's really no judgment with me. It's very yeah. much so Aquarius vibes. Like I yeah. really don't give a shit. Bring it all to me, we lit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm okay, cool come on. We got an Aquarius in the building, a Scorpio in the building. Yeah. Yes. Like, a Virgo, Sag. I'm a Sag. Yeah. Yes, hey. like I'm 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 really like it, I'm with whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. want me to pull up let's pull up you yeah. need me to bail you out okay okay, okay. like exactly. i'm cool with that yeah, yeah um no judgment as far as what i could do to be a better friend i think that what i could do to probably what i bring to the friend table first because i remember you mentioning yeah. that part yeah. i bring a comfort i feel like i bring like it's just that man. What's up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. It's, anything, it's never baby. you gotta be a certain person or of a yeah. certain type to mm-hmm. be my friend. I'm super cool. I feel like a lot of people have not became my friends because they talk themselves out of a friendship. Yeah. Because they yeah. perceived you. To they be a perceived way. me. And yeah. Yeah. Especially like early on, a lot of people was like, "You look mean. You look stuck up. Yeah. You look judgmental. You're gonna miss out on this goodness." And I'm then, like, baby. "What does that even mean?" Yeah. Because I'm probably the silliest girl you're ever gonna meet. Okay. Like I yeah. play yeah. 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 all it's that. Yeah. Right. That, there's a mm-hmm. lot of projection. I feel like that probably stood in the way of me becoming friends with a lot of people, which I don't fret about. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I really yeah. don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Like, um, but when it anyway. let's be very clear, let's be super <laughs> you clear. you missing out, baby. It's, yeah, right, it's clarity. Right. But what I could bring to the friend table is just probably this. Is, this is a very interesting question for me. What I could do better is probably. I'm not gonna say I'm a perfect friend, y'all. I'm not gonna say that. But I think the reason why it's so hard for me to wonder or to kind of formulate in words what I could bring to the table to be a better friend. It's just because if people told me what they needed, they would have it. Yeah. I'm not one of those people that's so kind of like. I'm, I'm, a, I'm on demand. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Because I honestly really, I'm a, I'm a pleaser. Yeah. You know, I'm not a person that's just kind of like, oh, you want that? Mm-hmm. Unlock this gate. 
<laughs> it's not good <laughs> that. Like, it's really like, you need that? Okay, I will give it to you. Right. I've had friends right. call me like, hey, I need some money. Okay, send it to you. Don't even ask. When am I getting yeah. it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really that type of person. Oh, can you come to this place? Okay, if I can make it, then I'll come. If I cannot, then I cannot. And that you, you should know me well enough to know that if I don't make it or I don't go, if I don't I really show had a good it, reason. it's genuinely yeah. a yeah. good yeah. reason mm-hmm. because I genuinely fuck with my friends. Like I said, we were just talking about the whole sibling thing prior. Yeah. I don't have any siblings. So anybody that I make my friend That's family. is genuine for yeah. me Yeah, because I count you as family, after yeah. this, right? But as far as being a better friend, I guess I will probably just, probably, you know what? I'll do this. I would be a better friend if I did things to drop the right. Okay. Mm. Okay. I so like that. So you know that. how like I you like might that. have a thought like, damn, I should. Yeah. And then reach you out to the and person, then push it, tell them everything that they mean to mm-hmm. me right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, shit, okay, I'm going to do it right after I And something yeah. distracts you. Yeah. Yep. Oh, right after, after I do this. dinner. Uh-huh. And then it right goes from after. here to there to there. And that was two months. Right. And not and not to make this about and not to make this about me. I know people are probably going to be like, "Did they ask about a friend at you?" But I feel like in order to be a friend to someone else, you have to be a friend to yourself. So I'm gonna just throw this Absolutely. out. That's real. That's real. Okay. In order to be a better friend to other people, I would establish better boundaries <clears throat> amongst myself. Because I've let a lot of people get me fucked up because I let them think that they could have me fucked up, Ooh. and thus a friendship has fallen out because I wasn't upfront mm. about what you can and cannot do as an extension of my family, friendship, whatever. Right. Mm. Nah, that's real. You're and you really. cannot expect people to operate in a way in which yeah. you have not explained to them work yes. for you. Mm. If I'm telling you, hey, yeah, we friends, stop, don't call me about no nigga I don't fuck with no more to tell me what bitch you seen them with because that's going to make my day bad. And you yeah. do that all yeah. the time. Yeah. And, it, mm-hmm. and it puts a damper in my mood in my day and it makes mm-hmm. me feel fucked up. And they do it every other day. Mm. Why are you mad at them? You never corrected them. You yeah. never said anything. Yeah. yeah. So in order mm-hmm. to be a better friend, I have to be a better person, person to yourself. Yourself. I have to be a better yeah. friend for self. Setting boundaries, doing mm. things when I think about them, not yeah. putting them off, not being a procrastinator. I think that would make me the utmost friend. Yeah. But I feel like anybody who has given me a chance to be a friend yeah. to them knows genuinely how good of a friend I could be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? I and then that, also yeah. not taking things personally. Yeah. yeah, people yeah, that's got, a big one. That's people a big got their own yeah. shit going on. Yes. You know, even when you you have friends and they make friends with bitches that they know don't like you, they still friends. Who am I to tell you you can't, you be, can't friends be friends with somebody, with somebody else, else because yeah. they don't fuck mm-hmm. with me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, being understanding, extending that certain grace, I feel Absolutely. like that's what makes yeah. a better friend. Yeah. And it's not always easy yeah. for me to be like, mm-hmm. so bitch, why you so Right, 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 right. It's not always easy. Sometimes you got to extend that grace. I feel like overall, that would intensify what I bring to my friends. Right. I like that. Any of my friends that really are friends to me know it's like, yeah, I got you. Yeah, Yeah. definitely. Okay, P, what's next? (laughs) What kind of friend am I? Um, I'm definitely down for anything. I would definitely say I would do anything for you. You need me. I'm there. That's Um, Virgo nature (laughs) <laughs> um, I'm gonna be there. Whatever situation you need, you call. Uh, hopefully, I'll call you back. Um, I definitely because y'all do be antisocial. I, you know what I'm saying? I right. definitely need to work on my communication. That is my check for uh being a better friend. Mm-hmm. I need to work on my communication because if you do call me and if I don't call you back, I'm sorry. But uh, like you said, you know what I'm saying. I everybody self care. Every as I was say, everybody got their own stuff going on, especially over this past year. Um, Ooh, I been definitely could have been a better friend, but I got to think about myself first. I mean, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, care, yeah so. this past year was a lot. Friend, so yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot, and I, I, I do regret. You know what I'm saying. A lot of the things that I could have done. Um, communication wise. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm definitely the friend that will be there. Anytime that you need me, I'm there. Um it just kinda ends at that. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm here. I, I'm here for you. I'm here for to support you. I'm here to to love you. I'm here to tell you anything that you need to yeah. be told. But in retrospect, if you do need to be told the things, 
I'm gonna tell you the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you some I'm things also that, that friend. need to be said yeah. to you. Yeah. Um, I'm not that yes friend either. Uh, I'm proud of at you. least I try not to be. Um, yeah. to a certain extent, depends on what our friendship is. Yeah, yeah. where what level of yeah. friendship yeah. that we yeah. are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Excuse yeah. my language. There is, is there, there is there's level to them, your friendship. Where they it not want to hear it? Because so sometimes it'll hurt your feelings, and I ain't got time. Yeah, coddling your feelings. You know what I'm saying? To different parts of your friend, right? Okay. There's some friends that you know that you can just talk a certain way too but then it's you got to know your friends it's yeah like, yes you, yes you can't talk to friend no, b the same way you talk to friend, friend a okay, okay. okay. The, the relationship may look happen. different yeah. Or their sensitivities level yeah. may be different. It's you gotta, sensitivity. you gotta or their delusion level is different. Whichever, <laughs> I told whichever you know, it is. Violence, their delusion level might be Baby, different. Baby, and that yeah. delusion yeah. is a real some thing. Some people might be in, in <laughs> and I don't like that. In fandom with reality, yeah. and some people might be <laughs> off <laughs> yonder, <laughs> and they might be off yonder, and you might be like. Yeah. Trying to bring uh, them down. Yeah. To the so back to reality. Yeah. Um. Oh, now you tell us. Yes. So, so before I tell you, um, I have to do this because this is we are talking about friendship. Right. Paris is my ten year friend. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on. Paris so, is my ten year friend. It's been a long time. And <laughs> what I will say and we is, we just keep getting young. I, I, I swear. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm 21 again. Period. So what I will, what I will say, Paris is my ten year friend, and I, I always, I, Paris is a friend that I reference when I do talk about friendship a lot. Because everything she says, I 100%, anybody who knows about Paris will tell you I say the same thing about her. Mm-hmm. I can call Paris any day. I don't know who she blocking calls. Should I met her one day when I was, when I was late? Paris answered answer all my calls. we was just chatting the fuck like, up. We was, we was. Paris answered all my calls. So I'm sorry for y'all. She, I get all my answers. <laughs> if you listen, I'm sorry to the people. Call. I didn't answer so your call. I'm Paris sorry. Paris is the, one of the most loving friends that I have. And I do mean love you where Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Whatever. That means that's a lot. Like, that's, that's and that's important. why I want to give you your flowers that's while you're sitting here since we're talking about friendship. Yeah. Because like while we are talking about getting better friendships and having better mm-hmm. friends for my friends, this is my A1 friend. Yeah. And a and lot of the that. reason why Me Paris too, is sitting here as well <laughs> because we like, it's such a, like, I get so emotional talking yeah. about it sometimes because that is my love. Like, yeah. any, if I need to feel a love, I'm Got talking you. to Paris. People but you know what? You anybody. know what's so crazy is so many women that thing. don't have that. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. There is. And there's and there's a lot said, of women me, who don't. While she's sitting here and we're talking about this, I want to give her her flowers because although we talk about this and we talk about this all the time, all the time. Right. no matter yeah. what, me and Paris get to love you, love you. We're like that's yeah. us. Like we are yeah. those yeah. friends. We, yeah. we don't yeah. leave the yeah. phone yeah. without saying love you. We don't leave this without cackling and smiles yeah. and yeah. like you know those okay. real genuine loving vibes. And I think it's so important to have because I really do feel like if I didn't have a Paris in my life. A lot of those friendships would leave me with no hope mm. that, that that did end. But because I do have you might have been fire, Paris babe. and I have other loving friends, I'm able to like ah, you're able to yeah. re- bring yourself back. Yeah. You bitches, and, like, is you know what? Like, it's not me, bitch. <laughs> you bitches are delusional because right. I have reality friends. Like right. you no, know, that's shit. real, like, real shit. But that's real. So you know, I definitely appreciate those friendships that I do have in that way because again, without them. I wouldn't know what a real friend looks like. Right. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because there is a lot of janky ass motherfuckers out here. It oh, is what it is. Absolutely. Like, you know what I mean? And um, and all that to say, um, and I'll and I'll answer the question as well. So the friend I am is I am a soul feeder friend. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to I build you agree up with that. no matter what. Like yeah. if you need it, like a bitch, you got this. Nah, like I know this is going on, but you need to look at it in this perspective. Just understand this for a reason. Like yeah. I'm going to build you up, especially if you feel down. Yeah. Um, I am a praying friend. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. do have yeah. a lot of friends that call me to just pray. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got friends that probably won't call Like, and we're close. Don't get fucked up, but won't call me until they need me to pray. Yeah. Right. And, and I'm down for that at any moment. Yeah. Um, but definitely just that. Motive, like if you need a pep talk, baby, I'm gonna give you the pep talk of, of the, the century. century. Okay, okay, no, yeah, definitely. I really like again, like I know what it feels to feel down. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And I know sure. how important it. Like I, like I just remember sometimes how to come from myself and like yeah. really gotta hold yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I know how important it is to be there with somebody. Really needs to hear how special they are. Yeah, who they are inside when they can't see it for themselves. Yeah. and I'm gonna be right. that friend. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Same. I try um, to provide I, that like, too. That's just. And that's with that's anybody. Wow. That's like my yeah. mother, like that friendship. Because, you know, even in family, you, you are a friend to them. To your man, yeah. you are a friend to them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Or title does yeah, not it, define it doesn't matter. Absolutely you know not. 
to my daughter. That's the friend I am to her. Like, mm-hmm. baby, you know, yeah. we're going to build this up. I know you feel like this, but no, no, no. I need you to and recognize it's crazy that you say that, though, and remember who like, you I'm are. Not friend, but it's like, yo, yo, yeah, but you, you are, are though. You are. Yeah. You are. You was so my little friend. friend. Okay. <laughs> and that's a real thing. And you know what? Maybe I re- you should be my little friend. And I feel <laughs> something. Okay, because. Because my other little friend <laughs> is trying to do something. And then properly <laughs> instructing me on how to use science. <laughs> <laughs> and now. They got to get the fuck. <laughs> So maybe you should have been. My my that is so true because, you know, okay, y'all know I'm always reading some. But I read something else where a lot of people were saying the reason why they don't know how to be a good friend because their mother never mm. showed them how. And guess what? And can that's we, a big, and can, that's no, a big no, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's bunny hop on that real quick. Because that's some real Ooh. shit. Yeah. Let's bunny hop on that Your mother real. never showed you how. And want me to tell no you why? in your family showed you how to be a sisterhood. Yeah. Want me to tell you no, why? Show you how to be a village. Let me tell you why? Go ahead. Let's 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 get I'm going to tell you why. Because nobody taught them. No. Mm. Yeah. It's Ooh. a cycle. The, the thing about it is that we, let's just be clear. Everybody plays the villain in somebody's story. Yeah, yeah and definitely. And I feel at like 100%. Absolutely. And a lot yeah. of us know how to reroute yeah. mm-hmm. our conditioning and, yeah. our, and our, the fucked up parts of yeah. us, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. But for the main the main, the main stage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of us are janky because yeah. we were not taught how to be not janky. Ooh. Yeah. A lot of us not really good because nobody told us that we were good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I think I spoke about this in the last episode. A lot of us operate in shame or this yeah. is gonna be or don't nobody. A lot of us operate. Yeah. So I don't feel yeah. about nobody else yeah. and trauma. Yeah. That's exactly what I was about to say. So it's like a lot of our parents, especially when it comes to the women. Yeah. The, the female child. Yeah. Right? Because I was about to go there too. Listen, mm-hmm. the, the female child, right? They don't know how to extend something to us that they aunties and grandmas and mamas. Oh, 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 yeah. Can yeah. I chime in right here? And another issue is, and I'm sorry, I'm a, I come from a Jamaican household and something that I've always despised and I was very vocal on that is how they favoritize the boys over the girls. So Girl. what it does oh, internally. Oh, country families too. So, so what it does internally is, you know, girls Period. typically yeah. want to be the guy's best. They yeah. don't really care about their sisters because I was taught to not care about the women in my family. I had to favoritize it's the boys. Patriarchal. I had to very. They mm. trying to secure a spot. Every misogyny. Yes. A lot. Very. Here's the here's the thing about misogyny that that people don't talk about. It's internalized. It's, it's internalized, but it's a lot of motherfucking black women that have very much so okay. internalized misogyny and that shit is real. Yeah. So it's mm. not just these men out yeah. here with these no, women. Women, are women. women. When the women yeah. say that shit, yeah. if it was me, I wouldn't be out there. With a shirt that short, or, why? Why? Or or, or who legs thing. is it mine or, or yours? Or, or legs you want? You don't want your nigga to see. <laughs> okay. Or, 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 or sorry, I said niggas. Somebody don't like that word. What happens <laughs> is sometimes what happens is because you know I have a friend that I had to kind of guide through this is you know her dad not wanting to be with her mom anymore but loving his daughter so heavily and her mom is upset. So, and a crazy, ooh, and honestly, like, so we, let me go on that. We don't talk yes. about, we don't talk about that. About that. And let's chat about the that. jealousy. The jealousy. And here's the thing. Over your daughters. Mm. Want me to tell you? Over your daughters that shows them how to be jealous towards other women. And mm. guess what? And, and I want to comment on that real, real crazy because I feel like that's something that definitely needs to be spoken about. The issue is this. The mothers are mad at the daughters because their dads love their daughters because they feel like, damn, well, why, why, why my daddy ain't love me? Okay. Mm. It's not that they mad at the daughters. It's mad. They're mad at the fact that they didn't get the they didn't get to experience the luxury that type of, yes. of, of a man that, loving too, them. It also falls into sometimes when those relationships do not go very well, but that man is still present for his daughter. Mm-hmm. But it's like, well, how come? Well, how come he didn't he love, love me? me? Like, yeah. I was giving him everything, and, and, so it creates this jealousy yes. into the mindset yes. where it's like, oh my god, I'm so like, how come he loving our, our daughter, but he couldn't yeah. even love, love me? me. Yeah. And don't realize that as two adults, like, it's yeah. a different level of accountability, yeah. and you should not be fucking jealous of your daughter. daughter. Never yes. should be jealous of your kid. But, and and what, period, it does, point, point, never. what it does is it creates this jealousy spirit. And I say this heavily, and I no, don't want to say it like this. It but creates I always a say, spirit of, of I jealousy. I say, hater parents create hater, hater kids. kids. No, I'm mm. sorry. That's, that's jealous a fact. Parents 
create jealous kids. They if do. you are an envious type of woman, your daughter is going to be an envious type of kid. Because that's all loving, they know. Get, and you show grace, your daughter is going to know how to love and, and show, show grace. grace. Yep. So anything that your daughter is, I'm sorry, baby, she learned it from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and we a lot of know. that is a problem in sisterhood. What they do, all you hear is your mama's on the phone talking about your aunties, your cousins, your... your every aunt, fucking your body. Oh, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. What you do in return? Now I'm talking about my friends on the phone to my other friend, mm-hmm. to my other friend. Yep. And now... It's, it's a learned it's behavior. So, no, that it's shit is so real. Circle I have a group of uh, best friends from college. Like, it's four of us. We came in together. And one, a few years ago, like, and, and, and it was, I think it was something that was natural. I would call, I would call Mo. I'm like, hey, Mo, yeah, you know, I, is, why, why, why she acting crazy like this? Why Jazz? And, like, and we would feed off. And then one day we said, you know what? If one of us has a fucking problem yeah, with the other person, say it. we either can say it together in a group just in case we yes. feel like we need the comfort yes. so that it doesn't feel like an attack that, or something. Yep. But what we're not going to do Let's is fucking about call the other, the other one and call you and back your back. That's yep. not how the problem gets solved. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you and something. I want to say that's about... how our friendship has started to work out. Yes. And, we, and, let's, and let's, I'm going to be real. And I love that you guys they were have, able to correct they, that. They, we yeah. have gone times where we're like, I'm just not fucking talking to such and such, right? But then we come back and we like, you know what? That was dead ass wrong. Yeah, right? yeah. And we figure it the fuck out because friendship is like I, I hate when women fucking friendship walk is around. a marathon. It ain't a sprint. I hate when no, they walk around like, oh, I don't fuck with females and this and that. I only but got you give friends. that nigga grace. Sorry. First of all, I don't trust a woman who feel like she don't have no. You don't got not one female friend. Why? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Why? This is the thing. People Why? think that you gotta have an army of bitches around you. I hate no, you do not. No, you, you do not. You got one solid chick on your girl. You're good. You're, you're, you're good. I, you're don't good. Don't be out here talking about you ain't got no mother. I, I, I hate to be, you only fuck with I hate to be that be, girl, I but they don't want I'm gonna be honest, friends. though. I'm gonna be very honest. If they I'm say sorry, that. I don't mean to offend nobody. I do not like the girls who are boys cheerleaders who are yeah, like, I like oh, that. I only like niggas. Like, I'm only friends with niggas. Or they play you the need field a for the because boys. Yeah, you that's, need, that's what you need, though. You need a sister. I am very. Want me to tell you what that translates into? I need validation. Mm. The only way I'm going to get it is if I yes man all these men. And I the can't get where I'm going being friends with you yeah. guys because you guys aren't going anywhere. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hop on the winning team. Yeah, I, I that's don't, all it is. I just think it's it's bad. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's bad it's because ugly. like you know like I feel like it is very ugly. And like you said, it's like if you don't have any solid women on your team, something's wrong what with you, you to me. It's, yeah, it's, like I'm sorry, and I'm, and I'm, like it's something wrong in with the you. In the words of Twitter, it's you're not definitely sense. the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like why? Um, so while we're here. Since, you know, we went a couple places and, and, you know, those are all such important topics. I might yeah. pick apart those topics just to talk yeah. about individually. Yeah, they yeah be because definitely, they really absolutely. Like that let's that unpack that, that shit. Because that's, 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 that's real. Let's unpack that that's shit. Let's unpack that, that shit. shit. It's an episode in itself. No, and, 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 and that's. Oh, write it yes. down. <laughs> well, I want to ask Note a question it. while we finish up this topic because I know you got to get out of here. So I want to make sure we get through everything. Yes, yes. Um, and be if you got to escape, don't worry. Like you can, you know, I got you. Um. <laughs> Listen, is it possible to grow into a good friend? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I think it's I very think so. possible, yeah. but you here's the thing. You have to be willing, right? Because like yeah. I said, it goes back to me saying that a part of friendship is accountability. Mm-hmm. Accountability for your friends, but also accountability for yourself. So if you are willing to hear what your yeah. friend is saying, right? And yeah. you know that part. Because sometimes, right? Like you said, we talk about fucking delusion. Some of us be delusional in our own space too, and we going through yeah. shit. We got yeah. things going on. Like we in our own space, we in yeah, our own yeah. world. So when somebody's yeah. checking you, you be you like, don't see it. "You right, right." right and yeah. the reality is, though, if you are, if you have the willing heart to say, "You know what? I'm listening, yeah. and I'm going to take this into account, yeah, because I hear you, yeah, and I feel you, and I want and to I'm be your friend, right?" Because right? yeah, right. you got people who be like, "I don't give a fuck." I don't. People, there's so many yeah. people that go in life who be like. Them. Yeah, they ain't got to be my friend. Oh, I don't yeah. need that. But the reality is, if you want to be friends with that person, yeah. you right. want that person a part of your life and a part of your journey. Yeah, right. You have to understand that sometimes you got to sit down and say, you know what? How can I grow? That's the question. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got to reevaluate. And I don't know if y'all do yeah. that with y'all friends, yeah. circle, mm-hmm. or anybody who's listening. Yeah. I encourage y'all to sit down with your friends and be like, how can I be a better friend? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And if it's a real friendship, you'll know. And I also but a lot think of it's friendships important. Real. A lot of these bitches just want clout. They just want you to show up to the birthday party. Yeah, or, the, or the baby definitely. shower. And don't nobody got fucking time for that. Or, or the, the, or the, or the, or the wedding. wedding. Or the wedding. Because they got to look like they got bridesmaids. Because they ain't got no friends. Um, <laughs> and don't show up if you hear this is. And because I, I need a housewarming gift. Out. I need a housewarming gift. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. Yeah. If you yeah. feel like it was you, it, it's, it's, it's you. It's, it's you. It's, 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 <laughs> baby, it's you. If the shoe uh, fit, baby, wear it. Right. Okay. B- big 10 and a half, 12. If you're a lady that wears 12, that's your business. Um, What I will say, too, is, you know, 
shout out to uh, Jazz Butler because she mentioned this on the show last week of, you know, just being able to, when there is a problem, talk about it to your yeah. friend and it not be a actual problem. And I think that was actually my issues that I had this year is, you know, I was in, you know, I'm grown now. I'm at my big grown age. I'm not going to say it again because y'all know. <laughs> I'm going to it. And I'm actually you already 20, told and I, you we 21. And I'm already okay. 21. So again, so just know. Um, but you know, my big problem is, you know, I'm I'm embarking on this journey of womanhood and really trying to hold myself accountable, right? So which means having hard conversations that I don't want to have even when they need to be had. Yeah, so like at this point, like I'm okay with having any fucking conversation that needs to be had. I'm going to say it. Like yeah. there's no issue. I have a problem with people not wanting to have those conversations and being held accountable, mm. right? So like you said, if I cannot come to you, if every time there's a problem and I cannot come to you, or if I come to you, we can't be friends. That's an issue. Like, yeah. that's an issue. Can I ask yeah. you something? That's a very big issue. Zay, I feel like this is a perfect question for you because I feel like you probably have experienced this. I mean, all of us have. Yeah. You know, all of us have. So not even just for a day, but all of us. The issue for me, and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, have a lot of like, you know, kickback in the comments. You know, chat me up. I want to see. Yeah. Right? But <laughs> it's, it's kind of like short. we, they'll have conversations with men they had the same conversation with 25 times in a row mm-hmm. for six years. You've been in a situation shit for six years with the same stupid man that never shows up, never bought your birthday violence, present, never violence, did the right thing. Violence, violence. Never. <laughs> Listen, the man not pleasing you right. He got three well, other girls daddy, that, mm-hmm. that nothing for your you kids, probably you work with. Work it out. He ain't doing the right thing. He wrong. He dead wrong. But the moment His middle friend, name is dead wrong. And you willing to send him a text and say, the blue dot popping up. I just but, 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 your friend. but when your friends say, boo, you hurt my feelings. Can we talk about that? It's giving. Fuck it's, you. That's why I don't, fuck, I don't, I don't fuck with you. Ooh, ooh. That, no, 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 But the no, no, reason no. you That's don't fuck with me is the same reason your man don't fuck with you. Ooh. You have a problem. Ooh. Bitch. Ooh. <laughs> Hey, bitch, bitch Corvette, down. Corvette, Woo. turn around, spin the block. No, 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 okay. no, 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 that shit, that's heavy. <laughs> that that ain't no light shit, Diamond. You want me to tell you why? <laughs> because you're problematic. Ooh. And the thing about it is, and it's it's not janky. Read them, Diamond. I'm going to name this, I'm going to name this. I'm going to name this. If we pardon, I swear. If we pardon, let's pod. If we pardon, let's pod. Ooh, no. I love that. The issue, you. and I say this because so many, I said this to somebody before, and they was like, "Well, because that bitch not gonna eat my ass." If you go through abuse voluntarily for sexual favors, that says a lot mm. about you. Oh my god! But mm. when you have a friend who's really willing to work on things with Ooh. you, or talk it out with you, you, or really be a part of your why? tribe, why, you yes. why don't you want what wants you? Ooh. This is a question that I have to ask even myself when I when I find myself being very very abusive to self, like sis, which is which all working okay? out in your favor. Yeah, what's up? Why are what's you being wrong? problematic? You know why? Being... Because we we self sabotage. You know what? I have to look in the mirror and I say, "Bitch, you deserve this. Stop fucking it up." Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Come on, right? This Come is on. for me. Yes. Yes. This is yes. Yes. And, I, and, yes. and, and, and let, me, let me chime in. And I deserve a sisterhood that is means well for me. Yes. Yes. And I deserve yes. a sisterhood that's going to tell me, bitch, you're acting up. Okay. Right? Okay. Right? And you know what? Let me do up. better. That's the type of sisterhood you better. Want. Do you want friends okay. that's going to let you just ruin your life? No. 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 Do you want no. a friend that's going to no. give you no. advice about when you should leave that nigga, when they're going to fuck that nigga once you leave him? No. You want a friend that's going to tell you, hey, I know this don't feel good right now. But do you think you did something wrong? Right. Uh-huh. Let's circle back. What's yeah. wrong? I know you don't like this right now and you shouldn't like it because from the outside looking in, and I can tell you from an unconnected place, that was incorrect. It was yes. inappropriate. Yes. 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 It was wrong. Or friend, honestly, do you think that this is beneficial to your life? Or friend, maybe I didn't come to your birthday party, but I'm there for your life party. Right. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe okay. I'm not. Okay. Maybe I I'm not. The but it's party. real. At the dinner, it's I got real. Party at Maybe the I'm party. not at the party. I got a t-shirt that says life party. Maybe I'm not <laughs> at the motherfucking hype of it all. Yeah. But when you need me, I have yeah. never left your side. Okay. Why like, does what does that... SpongeBob do? I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Girl, you Why does the clout <laughs> overshadow the, the friendship? The yeah. diamond, okay? It's the basis. Yeah. Because we, and honestly, I know a lot of girls like, well, men are different. I'm building my family, whatever. No, no, no. no. Even me, I've been stupid. I've been in the past like, oh, I'll yeah. go through the motions with this man, but I don't want to talk it out with this friend. The only time this day, this day and age where I don't won't talk it out with another female is when I feel like, 
<laughs> and you know because it. you know one thing about bitches we hate a weird bitch Listen, we hate a and weird when it gets too weird and, that, and the I atmosphere hate a weird starts bitch. to get oh, all cloudy like you're, 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 like you're a weirdo because if I come to you it's gonna go down because you're, okay. so how about you're a weird bitch bit. yeah I'm not but coming to you but at this day and age I feel like every woman should be able to age, age baby I don't know if it was me or if it was you but the other day I was it was like off. the vibe was yeah, off. Yeah, right. What's, What's wrong, going on with us, friend? Because there's no way we can continuously check niggas about being bad to us, what? but you can't, you can't ask your friend. friend. And what's you up? Can't you can't ask your friend what's up. And can I also up? throw in, bro, I'm sorry. I, sex I, is I, a buffer, but it don't fix everything. It, it does don't. not. I feel like it does and half not. the time, these niggas don't know how to fuck anyway. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. Hello? Ooh. Hello? Half the time, half these niggas, half these, no, no, let's be real. Half the time, let's half these time, our our female friends are chasing at, our our friends are chasing at these niggas who don't even got dick dick, but will cut you off. For the smallest for thing. For some but smallest that nigga shit. For the smallest thing. Nigga didn't give you nothing. You. He didn't even give you a If you, you wanted to bump cookies, on Valentine's just Day. tell me. My okay. nigga didn't even make you come. That'd be it. Okay. Listen, if that's the only that thing that's going to qualify me for a conversation or for it's actual for... dialogue on how we could be okay. closer together. We have yeah. to bump then coochies. We, we, let me know. <laughs> and in that case, in that case, in the interim, we can go ahead and separate amicably. We don't have to be over here just. He yeah. hauled it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's highly unfortunate that so many of us will forfeit friendships that could go the distance. It could. Because yes. the girl didn't like what you had on or you showed up the to the party pe- and you oh, looked cuter than what she felt like she the was. The the cattiness. Or, or she's, she's willing to care about her nigga and she thinks her nigga looks at you away even though she's just wrong. Because, because she ain't no attention you know. to the nigga in the but first place because you know that's your homegirl. Want me to tell you why? That's because she looks at you away. Okay, of course. Let's talk about friendships being... And that's founded was, on confidence. Ooh, you cannot be a friend ooh. to anybody if you are not confident in what you bring to the table. Not real shit. Yes. 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 Point blank period. And, and can Point we blank normalize period. just leaving weird vibes where they are? Yeah. Like yeah. Because the moment we can normalize upset. it, but we have to be honest about the fact that a lot of these women, a lot of these men, a lot of these anybodies, whatever your <laughs> pronouns whatever are, it is, whatever you are, whatever your pronouns Sorry. are, a lot of people are fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. I don't and like it. And when we say weird, we don't mean you have different tastes, you have different interests, no, bitch, you, you have weird. different hobbies. You are, weird. You, you, you are weird in the in the fact that your spirit is chaotic. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yes, maybe your mama was chaotic. Maybe your lifestyle and was you're chaotic conflicted. growing up. Maybe your childhood traumas is really rocking you right now. Yeah, and I really feel that. Through. But you know what? Maybe you're weird. At the very basis of everything, <laughs> it is weird. Yo, it yeah. is weird. Yeah. Maybe. No, no, because you said you, you said last episode about therapy. Like, normalize this shit. Like, normalize yeah. talking so, to somebody who don't know you, don't care about you, don't know nothing that's complete going on. Complete bias. That's bias. Let's, be honest, that's so yeah. bias. But let's yes. be honest about therapy. Therapy does not work if you don't work. So if yeah. you're going into that damn therapy office and you lying to the therapist, the therapist yeah. is only advising you based but on the, the lies. Oh, you're lying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Come on, come on. That's where it is, though. See, people yeah. are work. still lying to themselves. Oh, yeah. Ooh, constantly And they cannot get out of that because they do not want to face themselves. So the reason why they can't face a therapist is because they've yet to face themselves. Ooh. Even going to a therapist, you have to have some level of facing yourself to yeah. say, you know what? Damn. You know what? This, I, is, this is, is where I fucked up. But if yeah. I keep continuously like, nah, it ain't me. It ain't nothing it's wrong with me. It's everybody else. <laughs> I, like, How did no I end way. up here? Like, why? You know, I'm going to go to the therapist this because is, they mentioned yeah. therapy, but bitch, ain't nothing wrong with me. Mm-hmm. Then guess what? Friendship, it's not going to work. It's definitely, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's chaotic. But what I will say, like, it is just, it is so important. You know, this is fraternity, right? <laughs> that talks about <laughs> friendship <laughs> as a part of their motto. Yeah. But you know what? I think it's very important across the board. Like, <laughs> everybody <laughs> needs a friend, right? Yeah. Yes. We, we also have to identify, this is what I learned out of college, though, that there's also different friends for different seasons. Yeah. Yes. There's different friends for different reasons. Ooh. And there's different friends for different types of shit, right? right. You yes. have a group of friends over here that, that might yes. be with this. You got a group of I friends over here. I got to church with them. I you got to right. with you them. You have to know your friendship. And you have to understand yes. that sometimes things you have to let things go because not everybody yep, can go where you're supposed yeah. to go. Exactly. Not every, and you have to be and I think that And not everybody's very, meant to either. Exactly. Very important. You have to be knowing okay your with friends that shit. and where they are and not judging them. Exactly. Because that was you know, and let's That's just a transition. Big detail. Let's, let's transition. And not being jealous either when they yeah. had their moment and your moment hasn't arrived yet. Yeah. Because sometimes your friends will love you to death, but they can't take you in you that moment. moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's unfortunate, yeah. but a moment that your friend might be experiencing. They might not even be ready for it. They might be scared shit. Mm-hmm. But I still and think in your mind, you might be like, how to kind of, how kind of bitch reach her pinnacle before me? Yeah, problem. yeah. Because She's no scared. Offense. She don't know what to do. She needs you, but you don't want to fuck with her because you're jealous. Like, yeah, you're trying I, to say, why, that, why not me? Right, okay? right. And I think that's just a problem in yourself, though, because at that point, like, I don't know. Like, it's I'm mental. just not, 
It is. It is. And, I, it and is. I, that's just the part where I think it gets weird for me because I'm just not hating on none of my friends. Never. If, I, I'm if, bitch, if I'm here, like, oh, and what? You're here, bitch, I'm your biggest cheerleader. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I don't you know. Good friends with a motherfucker. I'm, I'm letting it know, be known now. You like, proud too? It's a part of yours. Like that's my shit. There was a little meme going around with a little boy. A little boy was answering the question. Right? They was young, like kindergarten. Little boy was like, Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> and that's me. So like, and it's like, Yeah. Yo, I want a friend like that because although it wasn't, it wasn't him that was answering the yeah. question. Yeah, that's my yeah. friend. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something. When it's my time to level up, I be on that. Yeah. My motherfucking friend. Yeah. Be the same. It's gonna be like that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yo, we. Fuck out, let's go. Yo, I okay. Know. I always been that friend. Whenever I, I got some money, yeah. my friends with called me. me. Pierce called me and told me she's good news. She got her job. We was both on the phone looking dumb. We screaming. was like, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's what it. you do. That's what you need. 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 And I'm like, Bitch, I'm a we been in college I'm a and her. The other day, I'm on the phone talking real crazy, and, and she was she she like slid it in there, and so we both stopped. Me and my other friend Jay stopped, and she said, "Yeah, well, you know, I was able to do this and the third. We stopped. I said, "Like, oh, okay, okay. Let's get ready. You got a job. You got a job. And I didn't you want to talk about other things. And I didn't want to talk about that." I said, bitch, anything that I got to say right now, Kuwait, that's Kuwait. Kuwait. And we yes. sat there and we was like, yeah. We're going to celebrate. Because you got to celebrate. And you know, shout out to my girl, I Tasha. just want to talk about. Proud of you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> shout out. Go girl right no, there. For real. And you know, it's so funny. I don't know if y'all seen Period. the boys clip talking about how one thing a bitch going to do is gas her friends up. Because yeah. they were talking about our podcast always like. <laughs> so they made a joke about how like. A bitch, like if you if you could lose your job, bitch, they gonna be like, bitch, you the baddest bitch who lost your okay. job. That's a fucking loot. Oh, that's a oh, fucking loot. That shit oh, when you don't you know why you're we're gonna do it. Right. Because if we don't do it, who the fuck gonna do it? Who gonna do it? Do it? That's why we gonna they do it. Listen, appreciate your friends, you anyway, your friends friend. be the first one that be like, you ain't wrong, friend. Right, friend. It's okay. Right. You ain't wrong. Was like, the, your friend could be like, I'm calling out. They gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, why, nigga? No, my friend said she calling out. I understand she needs a self care day. She needs a self care day. Okay. Actually, friend, let me let me get your boss number so I can call out. Matter of fact, sis, you need a PTO day because you deserve it. Listen, you I'm that friend. Let me write your doctor's slave. note. You need a rest. You need. You, oh, you, you need, need a rest. You need a Ooh, doctor's note. Tell, tell them to call me. I was me. her boss in 2012. Okay, my number is there. Call me. I, you, okay, you need a doctor's I note for plenty of my friends. Cause what? We gonna get rest. Why not? He's gonna give me a shot. Lexton, answer my call the other day. Says, are you busy at work? Because I could call and tell them it's an emergency. Okay, you like, know. is there something going on? Exactly. You, you need it, I got it. I can it. do whatever you need. But I, I, yeah. you know what? With all this friendship talk, I definitely want to say for anyone listening, you know, friendship is not how many people you can get to fill the bleacher. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Friendship is for that so, three motherfuckers that's going to be loud as 25 motherfuckers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because the thing about it is that yes. it's not about quantity. It's about quality. quality. Mm. Like, it's honestly, quality. no, 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 you got to run that back. It's, about it's not about quantity. It's about no, quality. quality. I know I had a lot of friends when I was out here in these streets, friends. When I was out here in these streets, when I was clubbing, when I was at every nigga table, yep. when the bottles was free, the liquor was free, the entry was free, mm -hmm. the food at the diner. Let me call up Tommy because I know she's going to give me. Right. The hookah was free. <laughs> and I, I had a lot of people calling my phone on a regular basis. Where you about to be at? What we about to do? What you doing today? It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Right, Sunday. Right. Da, 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 da. When I got married and when I got pregnant, my phone never rang. Mm. Okay. But and that's I can what they say it though. They say you can see your real friend my when you phone get married never and when you have a baby. Rang. Mm -hmm. The only people that call me are people who also have children. Yes. Mm. My mom friends, and I thank God for all my yes. mom friends. So okay. I heard they, they, some good they keep me sane. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because once you step into that different realm, you don't need nobody who's going to talk yes. to you about the DJ at the club. You need somebody okay. who's going to talk to you about, it's okay yes. if the baby poop is green. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay <laughs> that your baby didn't start potty. Oh, okay. Or, 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 because you don't know the answer. Yes. Or, 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 or it's okay that you didn't want to make dinner today. Right. Yeah. It's okay. You fed that, okay. ba that baby what he wanted, which was French fries. He will live. Yes. He will yes. be okay. You need somebody yes. who's going to affirm you. Hell yeah. And your newbie mom Ooh, let's talk about that. Yeah. Right? Let's or who's going to tell you, <laughs> baby, no, no. Mm. Take a bath. Mm. Yeah. That baby sleep. It's okay. Do Reset. what you gotta he do. He will be okay. He will be okay. Reset. Yeah. Throw some bath salts in that motherfucker. Yeah. You're gonna be okay. You you, you know because you're tired. Right. Because you're tired. And you have bags under your eyes and you need to stop it. Listen. Mm -hmm. And and honestly, being a mom, you're gonna have bags under your eyes for a long time. Yeah. For a long time. <laughs> for and a if it's not time. from the kid, it's gonna be from your own worrying that you're not doing the best. That can still a baby. Yeah. That's because all. Because that's, that's just all. mom anxiety, right? Yeah. But I say that all that to say, like, 
my phone didn't ring. Yeah. Nobody was even inviting me out. When I couldn't yeah. drink anymore, nobody was saying, hey, come out, yeah. drink with me. Mm -hmm. You can get a mocktail. I'm going to get what yeah. I want. Yeah. Or, hey, I'm not yeah. going to drink with you. Or come yep. eat, come to brunch, any yeah. of that. Only family and one fucking friend. Yeah. Literally, my whole and pregnancy can we called me. Can we normalize something to just being a good friend to yourself also mean canceling these bitches who ain't giving you reciprocity? Okay, what the fuck did I and just say? Reciprocity. <laughs> Reciprocity. Yes. No, seriously. See if you ain't got it all and they're going to pay the rest of the bill and never bring it up to Real you. Shit. Real up. shit. Okay. Real shit. You know, see if Real you will really like pull through. See if a yes. motherfucker tell you a hundred bad things, yep. tell them a hundred bad things about you and they say, well, that's my friend. I don't give a fuck about this. Okay. And see Period. if they show up. And stop saying, well, I'm going to get you here for free. I'm going to yeah. do this. Food. Oh, you want to do this? I'll yeah. pay for it. Don't. No, yeah. because a friend yeah. don't care about what you got in we your bank account. We don't count favors over here. And you shouldn't. You and shouldn't. you shouldn't, yeah. You shouldn't exactly. do that. You, because you when shouldn't. it run okay. out, they're going to skit and skit at. The exactly. one thing that I realized and learned about friendship and just relationships in, 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 in general is when niggas used to say, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on that same energy. I'm going to keep that same energy. I'm going to match your energy. And I realized no, how fucked up that was. Mind. Because you know what? And my therapy, my therapist taught me this. She was like, she was like, Brittany, if somebody's disrespectful to you, what you going to do? I used, to, I used to be like, well, I'm going to be disrespectful back because you ain't going to disrespect me. <laughs> she like, no, Brittany, I want you to think about no, that. Why shouldn't because, you be solid because somebody else ain't? But, but mm -hmm. no, but the way she broke it down to me, she was like, Brittany, that's not your character. That's not who you are. Mm, so don't ever they, stoop uh, down. To, don't change yeah. yourself. Don't, don't change yourself. So if you're not disrespectful, if somebody wants to be disrespectful, yeah. you, you, you you acknowledge it yep. and you go ahead and move about. But don't, yep. don't match energy with yep. energy yep. because sometimes, and not negative energy, right? Yeah. If it's good energy, yep. Yep. you want you, you yeah, want to yeah, match yeah, that. Default. Especially if you're in the space to match that good yeah. energy. Yeah. Yeah. But don't go down and step and start uh, matching that negative energy. You don't go that petty for petty. Yeah, yeah. Petty, petty for petty. Yeah, yeah definitely. Tap, like that shit yeah. is so corny and because it's too much energy to take out. That's what I was just about to say. Follow up with that bullshit. You know what? That's the type of time you want, sweetheart. That's the type of time you want, my good. Stay okay. there. I'm I'm gonna, you I'm be on you yours. You, you be on yours. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck with it. I'm gonna leave you, know you where you have me. Oh, I'm not saying it leaves out doors for you. Okay. Match up the shit that you're giving. You know what? That's where you at, beloved. That's your. Yeah. That's your energy. I love beloved. I'm gonna keep beloved. going. I love yeah. beloved. The beloved. I'm go the beloved. I'm gonna do my thing, and I'm gonna leave you right where the fuck because you at. Because I do exactly. love you. Exactly. Yeah. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. And it's yeah. And that's and that's why I said like you can leave and like we gotta stop holding so much like obligation to people who we have no Ooh. business holding obligations yeah. to. Ooh. And you know what? Like, at the end of the I'm day, choosing I don't violence again, nobody day. shit. I'm choosing violence again. Come on, That's let's men go. included. Hell yeah. I don't care. And I, and I know people can be like, she always being men included because honestly, mm -hmm. it's, I rel it's I relative. Understand. It's <laughs> relative because I've seen so many women give one man, a hundred different chances to break their heart, but yep. a girl say something that she doesn't understand, and instead of having a conversation, she'll cut her off completely. She, completely. The lady yeah. didn't bore her her kids food. She didn't help her decorate her house. She yeah. Didn't, she didn't put ice on her black yeah. eye that the nigga didn't gave her. But as soon as she say the wrong thing, it's she cut her off. Yeah. She take the man back after he don't even want to communicate about what the hell okay. he did wrong for the twenty seventh time. Take what I gave you. He's Woo! Crumb. It's 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 mm. and I feel okay. like yeah, Ooh, yeah. I gave you steak. Sex and, is a and, buffer. And, and, and all I didn't do was give you the mashed potatoes. Right. And now you try. Like, now I never gave you steak because that, that's this the thing that and that bothers me. I and I, like I'm that. my only child, so I really don't give a fuck. I was born in this world alone, and I yeah, love bitch, my own. Yeah, yeah. Alone. yeah. But I will point it out when it's janky. I yeah. feel like it's very janky. I've been there before. I've done it. Every other woman has probably done it yeah. inadvertently or not. But the thing about it is that why do men deserve more chances out of us than our friend circle? I've heard a lot of people say, and yeah, you know. You know what's know. so crazy speaking on the topic of men is that what, I, what I've noticed, and I could be wrong because I'm not a nigga. I'm not yeah. a man. Excuse me. But, yo, I've seen men fall out. They be and they be like, you know week. what, bro? That shit was petty. And, and let me tell you something. I've never seen I too many men. I've never seen too many men fall out over no pussy. And even. And, and if they do, they be on it. Let's go deeper. I've 
actually seen more men, and I mean, this is just me apologize today, bro, than I've seen bitches apologize yes. to their no, friends. I've seen 100%. it. I've, I've seen, seen it. it. Well, you know, a lot of women it. not apologizing I've to nobody. Oh. They don't even want to apologize to themselves, so they, that, that really they well, can't apologize. They, they, they not, they, of, they're not extending like, grace to themselves. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Okay. This is how a woman apologizes. You hungry? <laughs> Just like their mama, though. After your mama whooped your ass, you ready to go get something to eat? Or what? remember the store? Or remember when your elders abused you emotionally and just said, come on out here. We about to have some popcorn. <laughs> Our favorite show about to come on. Yeah. And you like, bitch, you just this abused abuse me. me. <laughs> I don't want no fucking popcorn. I don't want no goddamn popcorn. <laughs> I don't want no fucking I'm popcorn. Like, get out here now. I said we about to watch a show when you come out there mad as shit. <laughs> so you already know <laughs> the drill. Yeah. But I guarantee you, you ate that popcorn. <laughs> Eventually, you let it go, but that shit is so toxic. Yeah. It is. I'm going to tell it you is. what it is, and it's highly unfortunate, but the fact of the matter, it just speaks to the patriarchal uh, hierarchy. Mm. We put men above ourselves yeah. a lot because that's what our condition has always been. The man is the most sought-after individual, right? That's why the babies get the man last night, right? So when it comes, especially in our culture, so when it comes to you know, friends and stuff. They like, bitch, I can't save what we have. I gotta save a man who's gonna actually be here for me. Remember, not just in the fifties, women couldn't even get bank accounts under their own name. They needed a man mm-hmm. to help them live their lives. Mm-hmm. That shit is ingrained. Or the bitches who, who say that they don't want they, their friends because it's like, girl, you know, you know how long it took for me to get this man. Or Come you're on, not just relax. Me, You'll be me all right financing me. me. Ooh, so, the three fucks in life, the three extra life. I don't need you the because three, yeah. you're not fucking me, financing me, or feeding me. So basically, you're a user. Yeah, well, and you don't need anybody who's thing, not giving you anything. But is your you man anything. fucking you, financing you, or, or feeding you? Because some a lot of y'all are fucking right. Sometimes these men don't, don't give work. you all three. Okay, they might be fucking you, but they're not feeding. A lot of y'all, and they're not financing. A lot of y'all is on top working. And cooking. Okay, doing all that. Sounds like slavery. But you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm your it's friend. It's not my job to coddle you. Be there for your negative ass I, energy. Yes, uh, <laughs> fucking pick up the pieces. Hey. Fucking pay whatever you couldn't pay because you weren't focused when I'm you were supposed doing to it. be focused. I'm not doing it's it. not oh my, my job God. to be your mama. It's and I feel not. like that's another thing. Women look at friends like you supposed to do for me when my man posted. No, that's mm-hmm. a, mm-hmm. That's bitch. A, I'm not sure. Okay. But not even though, because I do feel like we have. So I, I, I'm glad you said intimacy because you do have intimacy, intimacy you with, have your with your friends. Yeah, intimacy yeah. with your friends. I love right? my friends. But it's different. What a deep intimacy is much deeper. Why when intimacy people be like, with "Oh, we're not intimate," it's like, "Bitch, we friends. Why are we not?" I have Basically, a lot of intimate moments with my friends that are not sexually it's intimate. Not sexual but it's a thing, different but we're type still of intimate. But you know what yes. it is. You know what it is. People are not taught intimacy outside of sex. Well, yes. Mm. Some people don't okay. know that intimacy is not sex. And how okay. about some people don't okay. even okay. experience or a physical okay. relationship? But I can literally not sit in intimacy. Swoon over but some my people goodness. don't realize that you, and you can experience intimacy in sex. And some of these motherfuckers, they just getting fucked. They're not even having none of this. No intimacy. No romance. How about, no no how about no some of us are getting fucked from the back? No passion. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. We're not even having orgasm. We're getting fucked. But where is our nut? Where is the nut? Fuck where the nut. is the cum? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Where's the big O? We lay okay. down. Okay. But where's my sound? Where's the buzzer for me? I did not wet the sheets up. <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> this, is, this is not you me. Came. This is <laughs> but I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? No, I'm really not fucking kidding. Like, a lot of us, we argue with Yo. each other over stupid shit. But really... You love all your sisters, But really, though. you're upset. No, that's your you're constipated line. and you haven't yeah. busted nut in three months. We need to talk about this real shit. Somebody- let's eat healthy. <laughs> let's have yeah. sex that are, is actually pleasing us and not just feeding our need of, of validation from yes. men who yeah. don't want us. Let's yeah. be clear. Let's clear the room. Go ahead. Go a lot ahead. of us don't even want these men that we with. We just want validation. We do. We want somebody so, to be laid up with because we so lonely. How about you your friends? Yep, yep. Affirm you, validate you, tell you, hey, bitch. The same no, way that we talk wrong, about the five I love languages tomorrow, with our men. To tighten up. How about you have your friends tell you, girl, you you trying it. Take a nap. And but but listen, the same back, way right. that we have you the know. five languages, the five love languages that we discuss you with our men. Friendship. You need that in friendship. Absolutely. You need that with the self. Yep. You need that in all relationships. And and, and, and and that's the bottom line. You need to be able Period. to practice those those Nurture love languages. Nurture them all, not just Nurture. the ones where you're receiving just a tip. Nurture them all. 
So, whoo, friendship, boy. Oh, Lord. Like, yeah, <laughs> honestly, you know, we ain't even got to go into too much. I just got one thing I want us to touch on before we get out of here. Because okay, I just okay. really, I just really want to touch on it, especially because Layla is I feel like Layla is she spoiled. Was, no, she, she was, was, she was, she's out. comfy. It's like you're giving some, um, Pillow top okay. that she's not used to. Yeah, she's and swear. Like, she Baby, was laid this is, this out. Is giving cloud nine. It's giving silly pasta piece. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, so so last me. topic, and I thought this was very interesting. Um, speaking on, you know, women commenting on women and mm. sisterhood. Dun, 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 dun. Ari made a tweet. Ooh. Was, Ari blocked Ar- me. Ari flipped. <laughs> I mean, you what probably said, said Ari. No, because a, a few years ago. I'm dead. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know about everybody else, but I have experienced a miscarriage, right? Okay. Well, okay. two. I'm sorry. And I'm no, sorry. that's okay. My condolences. And no. She, no, it's because okay. People don't. It's okay. Thank you for sharing. Right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm, I'm highly transparent. That's something about me. And one, but we thank and you one for that. year. Thank you for receiving <laughs> One year. Ari was talking about people were giving her advice. You know, other ladies were, I guess, chiming in to, I guess, appear to be a tribe or to tell her things. You know, all black women, all ethnic women of some sort of some they sort way, to say. they have some wives tale or something to extend about pregnancy, childhood, motherhood, mm-hmm. which I personally enjoy. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But she was becoming overwhelmed, which is fair, because as a new mom, you become overwhelmed. Absolutely. I believe her boat was locked up at the time or whatever the case might have been. But she was saying some shit like half of you bitches can't even have babies past month. Uh, so y'all don't even have the right to tell me what to do with my baby. It was very mm. ghetto. It was very nasty. And it was very hateful. Yeah. And I said something to her ass. Cussed mm-hmm. her ass square out. She blocked me. I don't give a fuck. Still mm. to this day. You I don't mean, say yeah, things about people's. Subject. You don't say you things don't about people's inabilities to birth children. Yeah. Because yeah. you are yeah. upset about the advice yeah. that you're getting. Yeah. If you don't it's like something true. as a Sensitive. public figure. Yeah. You yeah. say, guys, honestly, at the end of the day. Yeah. Y'all giving me a lot and it's overwhelming me. If you continue to do so, I'm going to block you individually. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I get that. I yeah. feel that. But, but to say like y'all sad. having breathless babies, y'all can't have babies yeah. yourself. Yeah, it's completely y'all, sensitive. It, but I think you know that's what? That's not the first time she she says a lot of like anytime somebody says something, she, she hates people's head. And I like watching her sometimes because she says a lot of cra- everything. Her her snapback is always y'all bitches are so broke, and it's like, sis, have well, you always ca- had money? Well, like, well, 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 well let's tie it in real quick. Let's go ahead. No, let's tie it in real because you know, respectfully, I think that a lot of people don't understand their celebrity. And they say uh-huh. things amongst them as if they're talking to their girlfriends. Yeah, baby, this is a public Agreed. platform, and you have an you're an influencer. They haven't realized that, yeah. like you know. But the topic itself, I'm gonna take Ari out of it because I think the topic in itself it's is important. still important. Mm-hmm. Um, outside of her past commentary, because oh, even been, when I feel like yeah, people who can be nasty still can be positive. And there we go. Yeah, I was just saying she yeah. blocked me. <laughs> and um, Ari, unblock my good girlfriend. Hey Ari, unblock me, boo. Unblock my good girlfriend. <laughs> Matter of fact. Fuck you. Keep her black. Like, <laughs> saying, if, if, if you don't like it, just do what you do. We good without you. It's like, nah. But, um, so the topic itself was, and I thought this was important because as I'm sitting here with beautiful, curvy women, you know, butt ass titties, titties you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot. <laughs> yes. There was a topic that she did speak on. And she said, you know, when slim fit body women or smaller women get on here and twerk and they do things and it's, oh, yes, bitch. Be confident. Mm-hmm. But when she you come around, when she come around dragging uh, that me, wagon, you know they pick and choose. And they dragging that wagon. You thirsty. You want attention. So, you want who, all no, these uh, things. Because I got a lot to say. And I, I thought so. An uh, ass is an ass to me, baby. So, my, my mouth is getting ready to And I wanted to talk about this. this. And I wanted to talk about this because I have my beautiful B. Garrett. And I love <laughs> all the confidence you bring. And I Absolutely. also thought that I have shapey, beautiful women we grown here ladies. and oh, i wow. thought it was important because i'm gonna tell you before you speak why i thought it was important my daughter beautiful mm-hmm. beautiful yes and that she's, baby is and, she, and she's getting <laughs> older her. and we had a conversation mm-hmm. because she was very irritated that you know um somebody in our family made a comment of how she couldn't wear things but her smaller cousin cousin could wear a thing mm. and if she mm. did it she looked like this but if her cousin did it I went through that all through school. We all did. We've all went through through that. that The body shaming. And the body shaming very early. Very early. And, you know, it really upset me because, you know, I get tired of having to explain that, first of all, it's you motherfuckers. It's not 
our bodies. Yeah. And stop it's sexualizing. Not, that's not what it low is. Kid. Go ahead. No, that's, that's what, what they do. Go ahead. That's Ooh, what I want to say. Ari spoke on see, this. I'm, I'm foaming. No, no, no. I see it. And when <laughs> Ari spoke on this, it really, because side to Ari, I'm going to throw in another one. Tyrese posts a daughter, a picture of him and his daughter. Beautiful girl. She reminded me so much of my daughter. She just had on, she was cute. She dressed in her millennial way, had on a cute little crop top, not too croppy, but like some jeans. And they were like, she don't look 13. She looks 22. That's because, and that's da, da, because da, 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 da. she either make you feel like she give you a run for your money or you feel like your man going to want to talk to her. And mm. in any event, you need to check his pedophilia at the door and you need to check, check your yours. jealousy. So, exactly. So all that to say, these kids, I wanted to talk about they this look different now. Like what you want to say? It really say? bothers me, especially now. having they a, always did a beautiful daughter. We just had bad hairdos and overalls. <laughs> <laughs> we, did. We, we, did. Did. We, we did, we did, we did, we did. We was janky. We had we limited did. two, and, and they got Forever did. Twenty One. And right, it it they got fashion. I used to love Limited Two, and I want to put that out there. I did. I want to put that out there. And listen, I was itching. I love my little collar shirts with the buttons and the okay. And I, I was, and I was itching you know, to I get did. up into the limited. However, my daughter is very well dressed, and I love her style, and I love and the way forward. she looked. Mm -hmm. yes. And for people to do these things that you know, which Ari did speak on, and I thought it was important because they do this thing, these things to us, and then we have to just accept it. They yeah. pamper and we our just, spirit. We just have to Some, deal with it's, it. It's 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 always a comment on women's body, but I think her comment is wrong, and I, the reason why I think it is wrong because. For example, co co what's her, I'm, I'm probably going to say one, but Coy LeRae, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. She was on there twerking, shaking her natural body, right? Doing what she does. Yeah. And the comment section was like, get this skin and bones out of here. So for Ari to say like, oh, when slim women know, the bottom line is somebody somewhere, men, women, aliens. They ain't never going to be happy. Everybody always got something to say about somebody's body. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Somebody's body is always a topic of discussion. So yeah. whether they're slim like Cola Ray, whether they got the little thick ass that sits like her, whether they big like me, or whether you got them plus size uh, uh, like Lizzo or whatever, somebody always has something because yeah. the bottom line is that we live in a society that tries to dictate what the standard of they fucking beauty us. is. Yes. And it pisses me off because yes. they police, they police women. So now you have women, and some women, right? Because this is another topic, the BBL. Like the, the, the light yeah. goes and everything yeah. that's coming. And I'm glad that you are very yeah, yeah, yeah. when you talked yeah. about it, right? The bottom line is that sometimes women do certain for things for themselves, but it's also what we see. You know how they say you are what you eat? That's yeah. not just fucking literally with yeah. food. You yeah. are what, what you, you eat. It's what you consume. All of it. Yeah. What you reading, what you, read what you watching. Yep. So if you constantly see every fucking day, this is what I'm supposed to look like. This is the standard of beauty. This is what makes you right. beautiful. You start to internalize that shit, especially as fucking black women when nobody's out there telling you yeah. you fucking beautiful with yes. your yes. 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 Your yes. slim yes. body yes. is bomb. Yes. You yes. got a little extra gut, but that's all fucking good. That's okay. That's the right that you're not fucking shaped like a Coke bottle, that you are shaped like an yeah. upside down pear or something. Like, right. People mm -hmm. don't talk about that shit. Right. And it pisses me off because it's not just about the little girls who shake their booty because yeah. motherfuckers got something to say about that. Yep. Motherfuckers got something to say about the BB. Yeah. yeah, motherfuckers got something to say about big yeah. fat girls. Somebody got something. To, somebody always has something to yeah. say. Because because some standard standard. Standard. Yeah. Always giving us, but but this, and yeah. this is not black woman standard of beauty. It's the motherfucking it's white women. women. It's your no, no, no. Women. It's the white women yes. standard of beauty that they're trying yes. to dictate. And some of us try to subscribe to that shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't agree with her because I think that anybody that gets on social media and, and do a certain and thing. They, they're judging. It's a it. comment about that yeah. shit. They want to comment about I that. I think people are just it's unhappy crazy. in general. Yeah. And yeah. I think that it's unfortunate. Like, honestly, yeah. one thing that I will say is that a lot of people are, are always going to comment about Absolutely. some shit that they wish they could they could have or some yeah. shit that they don't understand. Yeah. 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 And, and that's what it's always going to yeah. be. Like, some of us, like she said, we decide for ourselves what we want to look like. Yeah. But a lot of us, we have our condition or whatever else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Honestly... When it comes to the white woman's standard of beauty, they don't know what the hell they want. We set the tone. Okay. That's the only All thing the that time. I will disagree on because when we say big lips are in, they end, bitch. Yeah. Go get a filler. Yeah. When we yeah. say fat asses That's are true. in, they the end, bitch. Go get a hip dip. Yeah. Yep. Go but get a dip. Go get but a dad. Yeah. The fucked up part is that we pay we your, pay your standard, surgeon. But then they, it doesn't look good. Because want me, want me to tell you what it is? Because white woman does. Because want me to tell you what it is? Exactly. Want me to tell you what it is? until they do it. No, you're absolutely right because you know what it is? It's. It's cultural appropriation. Okay. Yeah. And they whitewash shit. Okay. And the issue is, it's just kind of like, oh, I want hips. Oh, the ass looks good. Oh, the black men are liking this. Mm -hmm. I want to like it too. Mm -hmm. And it's so, unfortunate. So how do we... But we are trendsetters. So what do, what message do we give to our younger girls who are coming up? And I don't even mean do girls as young as my daughter is 11, but I mean the girls that are coming into high school and going into adulthood and to college. <laughs> what know? message do we give them 
to leave with because at the end of the day, it is very conflicting, right? Uh -huh. It's conflicting because, like you said, you have no matter what your size is, what your shape is as a black woman, then we have us culturally appropriating things that white women do, mm -hmm. and then but they're getting it from us. What do we tell them in a society that is built to tear them down and they're just trying to come up? You know, because there's a lot of girls who are going to go through that period. Like, you know, you remember when we were going through it, we were, we were in high yeah. school, we had yeah. acne. And we're like, do I look Child. good? Am you I know stressed? what I have to say? Like, da, 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 I grew up thinking I was so ugly. And I'm like, I know what, what to say. Give me something. Give me something. Shit get tricky, baby. Stay in your glow. Yes. That's it. Period. Yeah. Some days you won't have acne. Some days the jeans ain't going to be fitting properly. Some days a bitch gonna have a thousand dollar shoe on, and you gonna just have a little semi forty five dollar shoe on. Yeah, my guess what? And it's gonna be when okay. you step out, step out like own that you shit. Like okay, that. and because step out, twirl your hair. I don't give a fuck if this is yak. What is it? Yes. Get back. Because do a do a baby hair. Put your dollar lip gloss on. Do what you gotta do. Because guess what? The glow is never what you had to pay for. And the glow is. And you. I was yes, gonna say yes, yes. And to my I'm good glad. sis Lauren London. It ain't on you. It's in you. It is it's in you. you. It's but in that's you. Okay. And that's not a lie. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's yeah. you don't have to follow the crowd. Yeah. You don't. The crowd is stupid as shit. Yeah. It's, it's, honestly, it's not a lie. It's yeah. about being your own kind of fucking beautiful. Yeah. And stop allowing others to force you into a standard. Because the, the bottom line is, as, as young women, Even as women, standard, right? Baby. As yeah. young girls, young women, as black women, we are not monolithic. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. there is no fucking linear mm -hmm. way to be yeah. a black yeah. woman to be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. To, a whole bunch of different to be smart, yeah. it's so yeah. many yeah. different ways, right? That she it's so many different and ways, feel. and I tell this to my girls all the time that you gotta be good for you, yeah, in you, right? Yeah. You gotta feel and you have to be okay for shit. you, yeah. and you gotta hold that shit down and be okay because validation is for parking and not for people, and other people yeah. are not gonna Ooh. validate your beauty. Like yeah. you gonna be able to. And validate can I say yourself. something really quick about the standard of beauty and all the rest of that other stuff? All the rest of that cute shit. So. Fortunately, I've always pretty much liked myself mm -hmm. and it's hard. Like I didn't always love myself, but I was OK with the body that self was in. Yeah. Right. Which is very, very <laughs> layered, that statement. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is that after I had a kid, I wanted to look like the person that I knew because mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I looked different. And I was like, hey, after that's postpartum and all the rest of the other shit, I don't know this lady. They don't talk about I that I want to look enough, like the either. lady that I remember or yeah. to get close, as close to that, right? So I embarked on a surgery journey, yes. which mm -hmm. I say yes to whatever surgeries you guys want to get as long as they're safe and they're, they, they've been thought out and properly, long as you're right? Doing it for mm -hmm. you. And long as you're doing it for you. Don't do it for nobody else. That's your body, Especially right? Especially not these niggas because they, 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 they do it for they you. Don't they don't know what they want, child. They don't know what they want. And them niggas, fuck, and them niggas fuck all type of muffins all the time. Yeah. So. Yeah. They're going to they gonna, they gonna, they gonna fuck whatever they're they, they going to fuck, right? It could be a rock. But okay. period, so, period. A hole in the ground. If, if, it, if it's going <laughs> a, a glitter, a, a and if, that's not a lie. But what I will say is that surgery is not the easy way out. You know, you see a lot of people like, mm. oh, I'm just gonna get my body done and pop out. The way it looks when it's pre presented to you on these social media, and when it's presented to you when it's like, oh, two weeks ago you were this, and now you're this. That is a facade. It is a yeah, mirage. It is, it is mm. not real. Yeah. I am what one month, two weeks post op. I'm still aching, baby. Mm. And I want y'all to know that, like, it's not an immediate fix. First, you gotta save the money. First, you gotta make the money. Mm -hmm. Save the money. Find the doctor. Pay the doctor. Go to the go to the date. Then you go to the date. Now you need help. Now you need post op massage. Mm -hmm. Now you need That's like ten weeks. Now you right? need your oh, yeah. mind. It's now you need your mind in tandem to understand that this is a journey. You yeah. want to look a lot more fucked up over the process before you look good. Mm. Okay. And I don't want y'all to be looking at social media thinking, "Damn, oh, it's quick." It's not quick. No, it's not. It's long. Yes, you will probably love your results after if you do all of the work properly and you do everything right. But also make sure that you are also putting your life on the line for complications, for life or death situations. For different things to happen where it doesn't go well. So if there's something that you don't like about your body, I am encouraging you 100% to look in the mirror and ask yourself, do I really not Because like I'm not going to lie, I'm buying some titties but not even, But not even that. I or want is you it to, really that deep? If but, it is that deep, go do it. Yeah. I'm here. I bought me some titties and a new stomach, child. Listen, I had an <laughs> almost nine pound baby. Listen. But the thing about it is that make sure that you... It's for you. It's, it's for, for you. you. And like, I don't, I don't want you to that. be lost on the fact that it's an overnight thing. But I want to add to that too, Diamond, is that you have to do the work before you get to those points, right? Because old, high, old habits die, they, they die young real, mm -hmm. real yeah. good. Mm -hmm. These, these mm -hmm. habits will go, go, go crazy. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and they switch very fast. And, and the thing about these surgeries and the thing about these things that they've got going on is that um, it, it gets crazy. It gets really hectic. So do the work. It, 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 you have to do the internal work. You have to do the mental work, the physical work, because at the end of the day, people go out and get these surgeries. I had a friend that told me, listen, I, I'm going to get the surgery, and if it don't work out, I'm, I'm a, if, if I get fat again, I'm going to just keep doing the surgery. It's like you put your body through so much trauma doing that and over it's and a over again. So yeah. it's like, yo, you got to do the work with the work. Yeah. So I hear you when you say surgery is not the easy way out, right? It's the Cause hardest you like, way. Because you, you, you're risking your life for that shit. And yeah. not only I'm that. Right now, I'm going to be big mama's house. For the rest of my life, because I don't give a damn. I, I can't do it. I'm just And honestly, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Those massages, those post-op massages, feel worse than childbirth. Talk to a bitch who had a C-section. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not. I'm not lying to you. I'm not capping. I'm not. That's not my I, style. But I will let you know. This is not no no ring around a rosy ass yeah. shit. This is a. I'm dedicated. I'm in this. I'm out yeah. in the trenches. It let me real. let you know that right it's now, real. ladies. I love y'all transparency. Oh, always. <laughs> and I really, I really, I really, whatever. I really appreciate just even both sides of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And I'm very thankful that you guys were able to come together and even talk about this and like give real, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because people look at you, they want to do what you do and they look at you, they're like, she's beautiful. Yeah. She whatever. But yeah. if I want to do this, yeah. this is what comes. Yeah. And you look at you like, baby, I'm not doing it. And then, you know, and this is what you get. And there's going to be women who look at you like, damn, like that's fire. And I just love the transparency on all angles mm -hmm. because I really do think people need to see more beautiful women, whatever, whatever your stage is, come up yeah. there and just stand in their confidence. And whatever your it's really, of beauty is. Yeah, and it's really just standing in your confidence. You know what I mean? And like whatever it is for you, as long as it is for you. Whatever um, you and yeah, own yeah. that shit and be transparent about it because a lot of you bitches, I just want to talk to y'all. Don't sell a workout plan no, after you got sliced and doing that shit. It ain't yeah. right. You it did not eat boiled right. chicken and broccoli and I'm tired for three months, baby. Because you got you me went to buying your motherfucking book. <laughs> I'm slaving in the gym for 28 days, and I don't look like that. You think I'm about you to have why? a fatty You told me you was a goddamn But you stayed in Miami. You and told me like stay it. in keto. Thank you. You for, told me thank you for finishing to do this, but you stayed in Miami, lady. They be lying. You went to the doctor. Just go to the doctor. I appreciate y'all. Paris to Tokyo. Diamond, just tell me your doctor. D, motherfucker. I'm probably going to need a life over Thank vision. You. Hey. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Episode 70. Y'all always do what y'all come to do, and I appreciate y'all so much. We going on two hours today, so you know we love it. Oh, damn. And then Jay's oh, going to kill us. They gonna, I just want to He probably know. will. It's okay. He's going to cuss us out, and it's okay, because I'm just going to ignore it. So we had a good <laughs> conversation. 70, we had good conversation. You already right? know. 71. Oh, God, yeah. Damn. I'm not gonna drinking gonna no more of this Lex juice. <laughs> it's Lex's fault. It's always her it fault. It is her it's fault. Lex. I'm here. I it's Lex. It's Lex. But shout out to her. She Lex. kept us filled up. Cheers, she kept us filled cheers, up. Cheers, 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 cheers. Episode 71, the Gemini Scorpio podcast. You already know.